Man. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, Hi, everybody. How's it going, gamers? Welcome to Dungeon Select. Uh, Belle is not here, but she'll be joining us during the break if all things go well. Uh, Soko's still not here because he's uh, he's being a Florida man, and uh, I'm not entirely sure when he'll be he's back. He's in Arkansas right now. Oh, he's in Arkansas right now. Well, there you go. But uh, why is he there? This man, this man, you could make a sequel to Where in the World is Carmen San Diego and just call it Where in the States is Socolor because I swear to God, weird. he's in a new fucking state every week. <laughs> yeah, so uh, hopefully Soko will be back with us soon. Uh, and Belle should be here during the break. But hey, everybody, welcome, 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 welcome on in. Uh, good to see you. It's Sunday, we're here once again. Uh, today's session should be an interesting one. Um, yeah, I think I don't have that much to say. Do we have any announcements before we get started? Yeah. Um, yesterday was supposed to be session one of my new Call of the Nether Deep campaign, where I am the DM. Dutch is one of the players, but we've had to postpone because one of our players has COVID and like not the feels mildly inconvenienced kind, like the can't speak and in severe pain kind of COVID. No mm -hmm. way she could have played D&D. &D. And it's a limited campaign. It was the first session. We didn't want anyone to miss out. So now session one for Call of the Nether Deep will be Saturday, July 23rd. Because yes. time zones are hard. That's the first available Saturday everyone had <laughs> after Saturday. yesterday. So calendars, if you at all wanted to watch it, my channel Saturday, July 23rd, <laughs> noon, Eastern New Standard Time. PST, 6 and then PM, other CPT. announcement was last week I did an impromptu um with along with my team side quest, we did an impromptu fundraiser for um the ACLU uh in response to the whole Roe v. Wade abortion becoming criminalized situation in the States. And one of the incentives I had to do for the amount we raised was I ate the world's spiciest gummy bear. And I put a video of that on my YouTube. So if you missed it oh, yeah. and Want to watch me finally Did you like something toes? so spicy? No, we didn't hit that one yet, so I'm oh. saving that for the next thing. But if you want to was... see me finally eat something so spicy that I actually couldn't deal and like I cried and it was bad, uh, then it's on YouTube. Was it unbearable. I hate you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. But yeah, that's, that's my announcements. Uh, as far as announcements go from uh, this end, um. I don't think there will be a Dungeon Select the weekend of the 17th because uh, that's when TwitchCon is happening. So, uh, I'll July be in... 17th? Yeah. So, not Perfect. next not next week, but the, the week after. That works really well uh, for me because I have a wedding the night before, so I'll be over um, as fuck. Because I'll be I'll be at TwitchCon on the Friday and on the on the Sunday, so unfortunately I won't be able to, able to DM here. Uh, sorry, question mark. But it's I'll be okay. hanging we out, having food and someone. drinks with a bunch of the gamer gang that, that I met through Twitch. That's gonna be fun. Someone want a one shot as well? Ah, if you guys, if you guys want to put a one shot together or something, by all fucking means, feel free. DM is gone. One shot. <laughs> one shot, but chaotic. We D and D riot. <clears throat> like we can, you can finally uh, do your do your beach episode stream, and I just won't be there to witness the fucking carnage, and I'll just pick up the pieces. To the do you know after. what? If there was ever an episode <laughs> of Dungeons like that, we didn't need a DM for. Like we could get away with it on a beach episode. It's just all of the characters sat on a beach talking for four hours. <laughs> And what Getting we just the, and we dragons. just decide like what you roll for checks like the anyone who's not involved in the the ability check or the roll decides what the roll is rather than like it's like we collectively DM as a group anyone oh, who's not directly be, involved in the moment that'd be a mess that'd be such a mess no <laughs> DM <laughs> the table is now a democratic society yeah. oh dude. D, D by committee <laughs> all right so yeah that's uh, that's the weekend of the seventeenth democracy uh, there will be a discourse this week. Um... We need to get back to uh, Divinity as well. Uh, we done, are, are we, we done through that? that? Are we done tomorrow? through that tomorrow? Heck yeah, yeah. We can do Divinity oh, yeah. tomorrow. We'll do Divinity tomorrow. Beautiful. So that will be happening as well. Um, yeah. I don't think... Does anyone else have anything that they want to say? Anything they want to share with the class? New podcast episode out with Opti. Hell yeah. Woo. That's fun. Uh, I have to, I have to listen to about... the Sage one still. We talked about... 
we was it was meant to be mostly about escape rooms, but we talked about whiskey for longer than anything else, I think, and it was a pretty fucking good talk. <laughs> so. Nice. Enjoy that. It's out there wherever you get your podcasts. Literally added a new platform today because Sassy was like, you know, my friend uses this platform and it's not on there. And I was like, I bet. Which platform is that? Now it's there too. Uh, Podcast Addict, I think it's called. Never heard of it. Me neither. There you go. But there you go. But isn't there one called Podcast Alley? Is that what it was maybe? Because I feel mm -mm. like I've heard of that. Oh, well. That was Podcast not. Addicts for sure. Alrighty. Okay. Last we left off, you guys uh, saved Valor from the keep, got his belongings, and uh, started venturing the, f the frick out of there. South southward uh, with Strathmore being your 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 goal, but you made it to Northbury because that's where Valor has a safe house and it is kind of sort of on the way. Uh, on your travels, you saw a large fog-like, smoke-like uh, entity thing travel over towards the keep and you got told by Valor that uh, a lot of the members of the Nightwebs have the ability to turn themselves into a gaseous form to travel faster uh, and you reckon that's probably what that was but as far as you're aware you're you're in the clear for now at least um made it to Northbury spent the night at Valor's place got some supplies uh, some of you at least and um it is now the morning you awaken in Valor's abode. What do you guys want to do? I will spend time changing my spell list. Lol. Okay. Uh, good question. That'd be all. And then I'll uh, be in the, I guess it's like a living room or kitchen at type sort of area, and I'll just be sort of like. Oh, hold on. Oh. Let me check. Uh -oh. Um, I either uh -oh. check if I wrote it down in my own note document like because if if laura out of character wrote something down then i want Digan to write it in her journal but i don't know if i wrote it verbatim sure and then i might not be able to do it so let me just quickly check uh merp, merp. thank god for control f to find oh control no f, pog oh no i don't think i wrote it down. oh no oh no okay i wrote down the gist i didn't write fuck okay can i do <laughs> so dutch how about this can I do a history check to see if Daigon remembers enough what was written on in the signature on that letter that we then hid in the chest to then recopy it kind of from her memory into her journal? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, where's my history? Oh, it's a straight roll, baby. <laughs> it's a natural one. <laughs> nope. Oh, I just hope Cass remembers it. <laughs> Woo! I, I, mean, I remember to... the gist. What I wanted to do was have the exact specifics mm -hmm. in case it ever comes up and we need it, but no, Daigon forgot to do that now. Too bad, so sad. Oh well. Uh, I want to sit with Jax and go over however, like, I want to be flicking through maps in his freaking fancy map thing. Yeah. And just looking for anything that might be evocative of where the elements meet. Um... And just... You know, just vibing with Jax and get learning more map stuff. Make that sort a of thing. um, make a survival check. Fuck it. Okie dokie. If I remember, we'll say, we'll say that like because you're doing it with Jax, uh, you'll have advantage because Jax will also be looking for for places and stuff. So I'll give you advantage on that roll. Oh. Well, I rolled a two and a three, <laughs> so that's a nine total. <laughs> We're off um, to a good start with the rolls yeah, today. Good man. Shit. Um, Get all the bad ones out of the way. As you kind of like lean over some maps, some overall just like general maps of, of, of the continent and, and you know, a lot of areas not detailed at all because as far as you're aware, nobody's really been there to map it out, uh, let alone, you know, Jax. Um, so you you can't just off the cuff, just looking at the maps that he has, you, you don't really see a spot where where that could be. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> I like to imagine that, like, Jax is helping, but in reality, he's just, like, telling you different stories about things on the map. They're like, I went here once, and there was a market stall that sold, sold, uh, Electrum 
figurines. Just like a real... Just that one fucking Simpsons episode oh. where he's like, we had to go to Shelbyville. I had an onion on my belt because that was the style back then. That was the style back in the day. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, to Jax's credit, we would specifically be looking at... I, I think I would aim to look at coastal maps anyway because it's like, well, the elements meet, you've got the sea, like maybe a volcano by the sea. That's like a whole earth, fire, water thing already going on, so... <laughs> He's probably talked about how much he sailed these various coasts. Yeah. And I don't believe probably 80% of what he says. Probably. Okie dokie. Uh, Valor will uh, also be awake and kind of... Uh, as you're all awake, I just um, want to give you one final thank you for rescuing me. Don't think I would have lasted much longer. Um... If it was, uh, if it wasn't for you guys, so are you a debt of gratitude? And if there is ever a time where you would need me, whatever the stakes may be, I'm sure Elazar knows how to reach me, and I'll try to answer the call as fast as I possibly can. I take out my one of my journals and I just write a, on a, a question down and show it to Valor and says actually random question would you happen to have any either like fishing line here or some durable uh, twine or some sort of string that is resistant to the elements mm, what is your exact purpose for this maybe I can find something that would fit uh I go into my bag and I pull out um, a crocodile tooth. I pull out the blood ape, ape fang. I still have, I pull out the one piece of a dragon egg shell and I've put a little hole in each one of them as if I'm wanting to thread them through something. And then I point to my spear and gesture in a like wrapping, spiraling motion. Oh, you want to wrap it? Oh, okay. Um... Maybe, um, give me a second and he'll, he'll go through some, some drawers and whatnot. And <clears throat> he'll present you with uh, a length of, it's not necessarily like a fishing line or twine. It is just a very, um, very thin, but strong looking, just like length of rope almost. But it, it's, it's basically it's, just something that's not gonna snap. Since yeah, my it's it's pretty it's pretty strong. Mobile. He like he kind of like holds it and like kind of like yanks it and and shows you that like it's it, it's pretty pretty sturdy and won't just like snap for no reason. As long as you keep it away from sharp objects or fire, this should do the trick. I just look at Devian. He says, "Keep it away from fire." And I take, uh, I'll take it if he's offering it, yeah, you and I'll just go start. Key. So I'll literally just go thread those things on the 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 rope, and then tie it in the. So it's nice around, not like close to the blade part of mm -hmm. the spear, but also not where my hands would go. I Are guess you, like kind uh, of on the, attaching on the it to half your old spear between. or the collapsible spear. I don't know. Um, oh. I think, I think I'll I'll attach it to the old one, so then I can use the new one more and not worry about the pieces falling off and okay. the things. So it's like the, now the other spear is purely my trophy spear versus the combat spear. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Um, I do have one uh, last um, thank you for you all. Um, you mentioned um, from what I've picked up from conversations and and. And your uh, your next adventure is going to be uh, pretty uh, wet. If I uh, if I've picked up on those conversations rightly, right? You're going to uh, go, well, go on a ship yeah, for we're going to be on a ship for a, hopefully not too long. It's just a sailing holiday. Sailing holiday, right? We might. Or a cat chimes in where we get to be pirates because <laughs> she's very excited about that. You get to be pirates, right? Um, well. I have something that uh, might prove useful in case any of, any of you does a tumble and falls falls overboard, um, and he 
presents you with uh, two potions. The liquid inside are... Um, it's like a very, very deep blue. Um, these are... Uh, well, they don't really have a name per se, but they are they are potions of swimming. It's what they're typically referred to. Um, when consumed... Um, say you need to be somewhere where you have to swim for long periods of time or you know tumble off the boat and you have to try and catch up with the ship that is just constantly going um this w would be no problem and he hands you the two potions I'm guessing it boosts our swim speed yeah yeah it uh, provides you with a base swimming speed speed of uh, 60 feet for an hour Sheesh. yo does feline like agility and step of the wind apply in water <laughs> Imagine, no, imagine if, yeah, and if I if I took one of those potions and then used my feline agility and step of the wind in water for while swimming speed, I could be like a shark. Yeah, I guess technically, yeah, it could, it's, it's a movement speed, right? So technically, that would yeah. that would yeah. all stack. Yeah, true. Splash of the wind. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you're Splash just running the on the wind. water. Let's be real. <laughs> so yeah, two potions uh, that when when consumed for the next hour, you have a swimming speed of sixty feet. Uh probably, probably a Lazarin and Kess. Should take those. Why us in particular, Davian? I mean, I'll Zunch. be fine. I mean, I'll be fine. I've got um, spells I can prepare. That when we go into the boat, will protect me from um, falling in. Well, if anything, if you don't end up using them, well, they'll, uh, them both. Yeah. If you don't end up using them, they'll, they'll fetch a pretty penny. If you want to ever sell them at uh, at an apothecary or a magic shop, anyway, so use them how you see fit. If only my grandparents are like you, uh, Valor, I would have <laughs> re-gifted or sold a lot of useless knickknacks I've acquired <laughs> in my time. Uh -huh. Alright, well, um, there's some food in the kitchen, in the, in the pantry, if you want to uh, have a meal. And then uh, I suppose as soon as you set off, that's when I'll also be leaving. Do some research, and um, like I said before, I'll... I'll Venture to uh, the Empire and seek out, well, not seek out, stake out uh, the two people on the list that uh, frequent Kalzir. See if I learn anything about them and why they would be on that list. Those two people being, I uh, assume, Nicole. Yes, and uh, uh, Theonil, the owner of the, right. uh, the big magic shop. And uh, if I learn anything interesting, I'll uh, try to uh, be in touch about it. You know which taverns we stay at. I do. For the most part. Especially now, Dolan. Just don't sign anything from Valor, right? That might be a bit silly. <laughs> we'll do. Think, uh, you think this Great is my first, my, my first time trying to remain off the grid? I mean... Well, I'm like, just... You know, I'm just... Excellent double sure. bluff. Just sign awesome. it, make it really super, you know, yeah, obvious maybe... that it's from you, that it couldn't be from you, because why would you make it so obvious? Let's not is that, do is that. Is that something we really want to gamble? Oh, no, God, no. He's just being a moron. I'll um, probably not sign it at all, and it'll be clear if it's from me. Trust me. Sounds good. Right then. Let's get a breakfast down us. We've got a yeah. few days journey ahead of us. Let's go have a look what's in the pantry, I guess. Okay, we'll see. If you go to the pantry, there's... He's not been here for a while, but there's a lot of, like, shelf-stable uh, foods. Um, some some dried meats and, and the sort. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, a pot noodle. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dried meats. Um... A rustler's burger. <laughs> Bro, they're not shelf stable. Yeah, they ain't shelf stable. <laughs> they last about four days in the fridge. <clears throat> uh, a lot of like oats and and that sort of thing, and uh, he just kind of. I know, I know, this would be better with milk or something, but um, you know. Dry oats. No. Well, I mean, what yeah, I you do, can, you, you know, can make in a pinch. Water. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, just, just add some water, water, right? It's a little less flavorsome or a little less rich, but. It'll do the trick. There, there must be like a 
market or a store here where we could go out and get some fucking milk if we cared that much. Um, yeah, there, I have not really per se a store, but a uh, lot of farms around and uh, I'm pretty good with uh, a lot of the, the neighbors around here. So if you want me, if you really insist, I can quickly go and grab some milk and be fresh too. I mean, I'm I probably happy with some oats and water, but... I mean, it'll, be, it'll be fine. We'll be on rations for the rest of the... Is there not, like, press, press the digitation or whatever? Can you just make shit taste good anyway? I've not really... Anyone? I've never really... I don't know. It's not yeah, a Jack, real thing, is it? I don't think Jax has it prepared. It's a he fucking trip. usually does. What a cunt. Yeah, you need to but, pick which no, cantrips you have prepared. You can't. You can't no, switch. Right. No, he does have. He does have prestigitation. Yeah, he does. So we could just uh, make a bunch right. of oats and water and make it taste like fucking it, strawberry no, he, jam. It says, or, it says yeah. that he can flavor it, right? Yeah. Yeah. To me, I don't know. I mean, DM tell me otherwise, but to me, I read that as like he can make it taste like. You know, he can add a flavor to it, but you can't override the fact that it is oats and water. <laughs> No, like it'll it'll taste like it's oats you and milk. You can change but... the flavor. Yeah, so it it'll be oats and water, but like the water will taste like milk. Or it'll taste like you know jam, I mean? or it'll taste like so honey. It won't just or... taste like milky water. It'll taste like milk. It will taste like. It's milk. not like adding like a flavor extract. Nah, it's nah. Like... No, but why would you? Oh no, 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 no. Why? Why would you make porridge with water and then be like? I'm just gonna make this taste like porridge with milk instead of this well, you can Jack's make it taste talking, like chocolate. Yeah. You can make it taste like fucking strawberries. Oh, true, I this guess. is, yeah, true, this true. is Jack's we're talking about. He makes it taste like porridge with milk. He'll make it taste like whatever the fuck I tell him to if it's my will, bowl of porridge. Will he? <laughs> you think yeah. Jack's would? We bonded over maps. Do you know Jack's you know I'll Jack's to give his you a stories. Word. Jack's give you a shit flavor, that's true. You'd say, Oh, I want chocolate, and he'll be like, Oh, did you mean raisin? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that sounds. I'm gonna more say he's an old—he's an old man. He'd make it like prune flavored. Fucking no, he, he, he <laughs> you know, his, his, he's an old man. His, you know, olfactory senses aren't like quite what they used to be. So it would be like, cookies. what it tastes like, Worthers or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, Loki, dude. But that's still pretty bad. par. That's yeah. it. Like, yeah. Every, that's everyone's much. everyone's porridge tastes like fucking caramel Worthers. But there you go. Hell yeah. That's so sweet. And Lazarin's taste of like fucking oatmeal raisin cookies. Lazarin's just tastes like a glass of water, so nothing. Great. <laughs> it's a, it's a... <laughs> He's removed <laughs> flavor. Jax is like, well, where's your god now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you make it taste good, you prick. <laughs> god right. protect porridge. So after uh, a, a, a colorful discussion about porridge. what flavor of porridge you want, uh, you have some breakfast and. Uh, you, uh, I guess, you set off. Oh boy. South east-ish, southwest-ish, southwest-ish. Sorry, west is left, east is right. Yes, southwest-ish. Yeah. Yeah, coast is uh, west from where we are. Yeah, like south southwest. But um, you head off. Uh, it's about three days on foot. Does Jax do the all? Look around the map and see if he finds a shortcut around. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Yes, because Soko isn't here to say no. There you go. Um, fuck me. I need to find the fucking thing that I roll for again. I think it's, uh, uh I think it's... Um, survival? Or intelligence? No, I think it's or... an investigation check or something, and it has to be DC 15 to shortcut? It's something wisdom-based, and you can roll fucking... I think it's like a wisdom save or some shit like no, that. No, it's a check. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, just check. pretty sure it's a check. I thought it was an intelligence check, to be honest. No, it's definitely not intelligence. Yeah, intelligence remember, is his best step. I remember thinking it was intelligence and turning out it was wisdom. I think it's investigation, shot. and I th investigation is... So it's intelligence. intelligence. No, it's not right? investigation. It's definitely not intelligence. Based, oh, it's like perception that. then. It's cartographer's map case that he yeah. has. These yeah. I thought it was straight stat roll. I so didn't now think I just need skill. to find out what the fucking 5e cartographer's map case is. Because it, it's not on his D&D &D Beyond. Because that's far too much like common sense. I thought it was like a straight DC 15 wisdom orient. Like not a skill. Uh, DC 15 perception check. There we go. Where the fuck do you find this information? Just the map it. case on D&D Beyond. Or is it? <laughs> Either way. It, I guess it can't really help because it's like a whole magical thing. Uh, just a straight roll. He doesn't get advantage or anything on this shit. Nope. I don't think so. Just a perception check with DC of 15. Perception? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. He's got a fucking plus five, so he just makes it 15. Yeah, so uh, Jax 
studies the map and um if you look if we cut through the woods here and there's a little dirt path there then we'll, we'll actually be able to make our trip last about a day and a half instead of three the name of where we're going is strathmore I guess strathmore I yes yeah, yeah. strathmore now he's just reminding me that i found streatham in real life yeah that's why i was getting confused for <laughs> yeah. a minute i did not know that was place. Place. <laughs> there you go Right by Crystal Palace or whatever yeah. it was. <laughs> so yeah, you uh, um, about a day and a half worth of travel. So realistically, only one more night of camping, and then you'll be in. Uh, Hell yeah! Be in Strathmore, and you'll have. Wait, you'll have three and a half days to kill before it's pirate time. So yeah, plenty of plenty of off time Heck in Strathmore. Yeah. To explore the site, see the sights, and explore the city. All the sights, see the city. In the city. So yeah, you guys set off. Oh. Yep, we go. Oh, go. we're really on foot. Yeah, yeah. we're walking. Sorry, we're just to get some horses. Devin, aren't you used to being on foot quite a lot? That's how we met you were on foot. Well, uh, right, but up until this point, you know, we've been cruising on a car, uh, you know, we had pepper and caramel or whatever, and I, well, I don't even know where they are now. Are they fucking back in Eldalon? Did we leave them there? If they're not in so. Eldalon, they're. It's halfway point somewhere. Oh fuck! From, no, from wherever, I, from wherever no. you teleported to to. Oh, Eldalon. Be Eldalon. I think it was Eldalon, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we went back to Eldalon to. No, but we I went. Did... Didn't shit. Yeah. When we went to the lake. Oh my god! We... Did we get new horses at some point? No, didn't we leave them in New Darum? We, le we left the horses at New Darumoth, we went up to the lake, we came back down, we picked the horses back up. Yeah, you then went the back to Elbron, way back. You traveled the whole way back the way you normally would. We just zoomed through it because for time saving, for, for like yeah, IRL yeah. time saving, we just kind of... Yeah, seven minutes travel, montage, beep, okay. and then... The horses so are in Elbron. They're in Elbron. Yeah. Alright. Promise we, you. We, we did a montage because we just got off like a lot of travel sessions and I didn't yeah. want to do like seven days worth of travel again. <laughs> Why not, Mr. DM? <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm quite happy to walk, you know. I mean, yeah, I'm used to it. It's just, you just get comfy not yeah, walking true. everywhere for a change and, you know, being teleported places and oh, legs what have you. Tomorrow, and I feel for, you know, Jax's old knees as well. Well, it's Even like the ground his... terrain, like, is it hilly? And I'm actually bumpy? quite okay walking, to be fair. Fucking trips and falls on a route. <laughs> his leg snaps. Oh my God. <laughs> his little brittle bones. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, well, I suppose onward we trudge, and mm -hmm. I'll um, send Onu up to the skies above. And I'll take the the lead in the party. And, uh, I don't know okay. if we if we have been in combat since, and I think we were last session, were we? But just in case, I'll give Davian vigilant blessing because I can't remember who the f if we okay. used or not. I think yeah, I think I was the last person to get a bit. Yeah, but I can't I remember, remember. used. So. Yeah, I don't think so. Doesn't cost you anything to cast anyway, right? So uh, literally, yeah. nope. I can cast it. I can actually give it to Davian, then six seconds later, or just give it to someone else for the lols if I really wanted to. My shit. Oh, the cameras keep fucking freezing and I'm mad about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking angry. They're all fine for me. Yeah, it's just when Thanks. I, like, you know, oh, open my fucking Word document and make sure that my shit is focused on Discord or else, uh. Or else things break. Things break, yeah. It's very annoying. Okay, oh well. Um. Quickly put that to the test. Now we're good now. We're good now. Okay, I just have to have make sure that this monitor doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. Whatever. Could you. Could you not just turn Onu into a horse? Davian. Wait, what? Could you not just ah. turn Onu into a horse? No. <laughs> and then we do only have one horse. No. Then we'd only have one horse, and then what? And then you wouldn't have to bitch about walking. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Listen, how do you think Ona would feel if I turn him into a horse just for the sake of fucking sitting on his back for the next two and a half days? I mean, have you ever asked how he felt about being, turning into, into an octopus or a dog? Or... Yeah, I'd, uh, uh, yeah, I have. So why does that not shock me in any way? Well, then, <laughs> why are you asking me how he'd feel about being a horse? 
You are. How would you feel if I turned you into a horse just to ride on your back? Really fucking confused, seeing as you've got Onu. <laughs> I'm, tw- I'm not. Ask- I'm asking you to put yourself in Onu's talons for a second. <laughs> I have to clarify that I'm not incredibly empathetic. I'm not incredibly educated when it comes to the nuances of the the thought processes of a fucking bird. Well, he's not. That's very, what, very Whatever he is, then. <sighs> what? Like, he's a fucking thing that you turn into a bird. That's about as much as I know. Right. Right. I was just, check- just checking his I intelligence just... because for I, there was potential for the bird to be smarter than you, but he, it is <laughs> <laughs> it is an intelligence of eight, but a wisdom of fourteen. Okay, so he's so... wiser than me. Eh, is yeah, he... yeah, he's wiser than me. Listen, Onu is not a subordinate, right? He's an equal. He's a companion. If somewhat of an, uh, you know. He's an equal. Yeah, well, well uh, Debbie's thinking there. Right? I just... But I don't want to... I'm not going to just turn... That's degrading, isn't it? He's a, he's an I, equal. So... As, as, it, as you say that, I signed a guess. Interesting that he now calls him an equal. It doesn't want Onu degraded, considering how much shit he gave Onu that one time. <clears throat> like, who was yeah, doing the degrading give, then? Oh, I, you you don't know. You, that's a guess. Fucking sign so, And Kess will just giggle and laugh back. Because she's not here. So. So, so if Onu's an equal, are you giving him half of every share of gold you get <laughs> do you see him buying anything no because you're not giving him any fucking money he can't communicate with shopkeepers fucking Dagon managers Dagon can write you can talk to Onu so couldn't you I can, really... only, I can only talk to Onu a limited time per day though that's it's a different situation. You go into a shop, you ask what Odu wants, and then... <clears throat> right, and then 10 minutes right. when when I can't talk to him anymore, then what? Okay, well, no, never mind. Ignore this. Next question. If Odu's an equal, mm-hmm. and you and him are both unconscious, are you saying that we should give equal weight to, to saving Odu or saving you? What happens to Odu if you die? Well... Some, some child is very upset by this dilemma, being fucking by strangled. <laughs> Holy shit. If... If wow. it's actually a very rare bird native to the to the fucking new continent, it just sounds like owner. a child screaming. <laughs> just be like in this argument, just existential <laughs> screaming as he Dad and Dad stop fighting. So or if 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 Onu and I are both unconscious, then you should prioritize bringing me back because I can bring Onu back at the drop of a hat. What happens to Onu if you die? That I don't know. Oh, and his eyes I widen. Think, I don't think we want to find out. <laughs> no, presumably, obviously it's a hypothetical. I'm not planning. Well, presumably, to <laughs> his, putting his axes away. His primal being <laughs> his returns to that whence it came, which is a different plane from ours, and he just goes about his business there instead. Do they have gold in that plane? Oh my god. No, I don't think so. I, I, I can't. I couldn't tell you. Well, but what does he? If you're, if you're equals. He he chooses to be here. What does he get out of it? That must be fun, right? We have a good time. Is he able to to say no when you summon him? I've no idea. God, he never I'm has. To consent. If you've never had to ask that, is he really your equal? Well, what do you mean if I've never had to ask? If I've never had to ask, then he's ready and willing. To assist me. How do you know? Have you asked if he is ready and willing? Yeah, he seems pretty happy to be here. He seems. So you've never clarified that he has any choice in the matter? I have to, I have asked him on occasion if he's all doing okay. I mean, he wasn't too happy when I had a go at him, but I would have a go at anyone who wasn't doing their job. You should read my journal sometime. <laughs> I'll be sure to. Pesco's goes so long mode at that. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> what? Okay. Dax definitely shouldn't. As you guys walk <laughs> for uh, the majority of the day, 
Um, you're kind of you're kind of taking the lead here, right, uh, Davian? Yeah. Can you make me a perception check, please? He's trying to like look around at the fucking terrain while make I'm in it. Actually, Aww. make me five of them. Five? Oh Jesus! Yes. Okay. Five perception Are, checks. Yes. Just me. Can I assist at any point, or do one myself? For like one of them or two of them? Sure. I'm. I'm sure. Like we'll take it. Like, oh, you aren't going to believe this. To like. Oh boy. You aren't going to believe this. <laughs> is it oh, a two no. and a three? Or is it high? Five perception checks. Yes. Yeah. Nineteen. Twenty-five. 23, 21, 24. Okay. 15. I'm on the, on one the first, like, after two hours of, of, of traveling, you notice a couple ravens kind of flying, in a, flying about. An hour later, you kind of look around again. I don't like it. And they're still there. An hour oh, later, I don't like it! And, like, every hour, like, on top of the hour, you look, and those ravens just kind of still there. You don't know if it's the same ones, but there's oh, there's a lot of no. ravens. How many? It's uh, two of them. And every time you look, then uh, you see two ravens. Oh, I really want to ask Gas a thing. And Gas in here. God damn it. Bell, get home faster. Fuck. I don't suppose anyone here is a big, uh, big believer in the god Odin. <laughs> a what? I mean, or the Raven Queen. See, that one I sort of you know. Ish, no. With you're the clerical gods, man. <laughs> I mean, wait, 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 wait. Does the Raven Queen deal in two ravens? I mean, make a religion check. Out of character. Make is a that, is check. that, is the that the two raven out of deal? character? The Raven Queen deals as many fucking ravens as she wants. Ten on the religion check. Daniel's not sure. Um, as far as like ravens go, yeah, Raven Queen. That's not really a set number. Right. She's kind of. I don't, does. Do I know? Would I know if there's oh, I didn't, a I didn't ask based... out loud. Okay, okay, okay. Would I know if there's religion based on two ravens? Um, yeah, Moon, Moon and a Hoogan. Shout out. Hold. Moon. Um. Do 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 as far as you're aware, there is this very, there's a god out there that uh, peop a very small group of people do worship um, that uh, does have two ravens, but that is such like a niche small religion on like the cosmic scale of things that to make th th there's not enough for you to make that link Leave. just from yeah, the sack yeah, from yeah. the fact that there's these two ravens yeah. that kind of been how? flying about your business or like how far up are they roughly like what would you say um pretty pretty like us? up there like pretty much um oh dear like 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 i'd say like 60 feet above you guys oh like 60 feet yeah Okay, cool. It's good to know. Stop there with Onu just vibing? <laughs> yeah. An... Not with Onu, but like at the same height, I guess. Yeah. I know, yeah. like... like oh, do you point this out at any point? Don't yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I feel like I would have pointed it out after the um, second hour that two birds yeah. were following us. Okay. Well, um, yeah, no, yeah, that's, that's fine. As, uh, once he points it out, as best we can, while we're walking, I mm -hmm. want to try and start, in case it's going to come up later... I'm gonna start sketching out in my journal the amulet of Ravenkind that Kess and I dealt with a while ago and okay. just have it sketched out for later. Oh, well, um, I mean, is it worth sitting going up and seeing? Or should we, oh, he's um, up there. Well, I mean, you know, like. Can talk to. Can Odo so? talk to ravens? <laughs> I don't know. Or is it worth maybe. What, lang you know, what language does Ona speak? Take them out Bird. of the sky. <laughs> Primordial problem. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he speaks language. all the languages that Davian speaks, and that's it. Languages. Understands the languages you speak. I mean... Uh, mm -hmm. Davian, do you speak bird? I can speak bird. Oh, sure you can. 
I help love. Just ask your mum. Hey! Sorry. Oh, Raven's speaking mimicry. Same. Yes. I mean, if, if she wasn't, you know, having an assassination attempt against her, very funny. Very top comedy. Uh -huh. I will yes, use speak with animals. Mm -hmm. And I will <laughs> cut my hands and Hi. yell to the sky. <laughs> uh huh. What'd you actually say? Like, brick? <laughs> what, what the fuck are you doing? To the ravens? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? What's uh, your name? Tell I don't care who the hell is. Make a persuasion check. Oh, oh God. Thank you. Fuck you, Tony. I'm just gonna think of that TikTok now. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you, uh, Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. One of the ravens will just kind of oh, 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 down, down to you, uh, and what you get is um. As I'm told. Oh God. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I will call up a single word. Nightwebs? Question mark. How the fuck do you call question mark? Nightwebs. Uh, <laughs> the inflection. Right. The higher pitch. You'll just, the you'll just the word. get back another. Oh. No. What? Oh, I don't like it. Well, no, that's a, that's. Well, I, I, after that, I'll just be like, "Well, they're not they're not from the night webs, so that's good." I just no, start it's... sketching faster. Are they? Are they? Um. Is it worth getting rid of them? I don't know is if I can straight up ask them that. I mean, it's... I mean, is it basically what he's saying is, do we fucking say... shoot them? Well, yeah. I mean, well, I know, but I'm not going to ask them that to their face, am I? Well, no, no but like, is your opinion we want. It's not their fucking opinion. Am I just gonna I stop got, asking them? I haven't, I haven't got the vibe yet. Hurry up and find the vibe. Oh, right, <laughs> I will can, ask. I will can ask. Cast fucking vibe check on him. <laughs> who? I will, I'll just ask. Check. Who what sent? What sort of monster do you think they drink? <laughs> ask them who sent you. Well, yeah. Pacific punch me. Make another persuasion check. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel the natural twenty. No, I don't want to know the answer. I wanted you to roll low. <laughs> do I'm scared. Some stuff blanks. You'll find out. Invited. Oh. Invited. Duke said a natural twenty, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I hate you so much. What did you Hold just on. do? It said you'll okay. find out. Invited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll just ask we're we're invited or they are invited. I just I just I just give a wide eyed look at Kess at the word. You invited. don't know what to say. Oh, oh, oh you're still for speaking once, first. Sorry. For Sorry. once you're on the other end of it. Oh, He's just yes. Yes. You know, how's it feel? <laughs> I'm literally just calling back and forth. I did, I didn't realize you were still doing the thing. You're right? asking them uh, whether the birds are invited or whether you are invited. Is that what yes. you're asking? Yes. You, all of you, and, oh, like we're all invited to where are we invited? <laughs> Make another persuasion check. Oh my <laughs> god, the match of can we just pretend that the funny carries me? Or the ravens drink uh, honey. As you ask that, the ravens just kind of. Not ask the chow. Davion, what's the vibe? Have you got a good vibe? What's the vibe? Davion. So they seem like they'd be down with a little bit of uh, MDMA. Dav Davion. Oh, hold Dav on. Dav Are they more copper sort of birds? Uh, just right. Let, let me work this out in my head, right? So, <laughs> oh, they say it. Oh, what are they saying? More well, nothing threatening, you know. I don't think it's a bad vibe. Can I insight check Davian? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, maybe you'll find out is vaguely threatening, but I'm not threatened, you know. Okay. You didn't say a good vibe, though. 
That's a dirty 20 on my insight check. I mean, if Davy doesn't feel threatened, as you read that off of him, yeah, like he doesn't Davy feel doesn't seem threatened. <laughs> doesn't seem threatened. Maybe a little apprehensive. Unnerved, maybe? Is that a good? Is that a... No, I wouldn't go that far. Okay, just apprehensive. Just a little on edge. Okay. Yeah, it's just a couple birds. One of the ravens will, like, fly down, or two of them. One will land on Kessa's shoulder, and one will land on Daigon's shoulder. Damn it. It's soon time. Is what they say to, to, to you, Davian. Time for what? I will reply in bird as I take out, wait, a Marcus. silver piece. I'll take a silver piece out of my bag and I will offer it mm -hmm. to the one on Daigon's shoulder. Oh, and as it lands on my shoulder, I close. I don't want them to see what I was sketching. I want the mm -hmm. raven to see the amulet. So I, I shut the journal. Uh... The raven will, like, you know, peck at the coin and just kind of hold it in its beak. And then the other raven will say... I just bribed a bird, guys. You did. Mm. Trying to pick words really carefully here. I, I don't know if it's as good of a bribe as you think it's going to be. <laughs> Corvids love shiny things. The specific kind of shiny you chose might not be a good idea in this scenario. Kept him waiting for long. Don't keep him waiting much longer. Him? You don't know what they're saying. True. No, just no, that was out of character. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I will take my it other wasn't an Irish one. Irish accent, you fucking prick. True. I'll, take, I'll, I'll take my other one silver piece. And I'll offer it to the other bird. And say, who are we keeping waiting? Not mine to tell. Not mine to tell. Like snag the silver piece and they both just I'm all, out, I'm all out of silver so and they fly back up looking sternly at Kess and Daigon <laughs> so who are we keeping waiting uh, I Wait. I will take back out of the if I'm sure the ravens are gone like I look yeah. around well yeah they they've, they've, they've probably okay. fucked off I'll take out, again, the amulet. So it's probably only, like, partially done. So it's, like, rough line art. It's not a fully shaded sketch, because I was doing it real quick, of uh, an amulet. Hold up. I have the description written down. One minute. Uh, I have to go back to session zero. Real quick, Dutch. Can um, I hunt so one, a... of the, one of the ravens as they fly off? Sure. So there's an amulet in the shape of a sun. I guess the colors with a gem in the middle. I don't have color. I'm just using like a pencil or charcoal. So I'm not, the colors don't really matter in this scenario. But yeah, a sun shaped amulet on a chain with a gem in the middle that I've drawn. And I'm just going to under it write the initials and look very like sheepish and withdrawn. I'm looking to guess the initials capital S, lowercase v, capital Z. Easy. Does this mean anything <laughs> to any of us in character? In no. character. Out of character. No. Out of character. I'm pissed. None of you have any idea. Is is it definitely like? This is a weird question, but is it like, uh, par not parallel? Is it like mirrored? The S, the V, and the Z, or is it like? What, what do you mean? Like, oh, if you, like, if if you the wrote S an S and B and a Z, enough. it would be like, yeah, or like if the Z was drawn softly enough, but is it just, is it just three letters? It's not actually like mirrored. I, I wrote it as just three letters, the way Daigon okay. wrote it. It's not, it okay. wouldn't look like, yeah, it wasn't meant to be palindromic or mirrored or anything. Sure. Yeah, all right. yeah. That's a big word. <laughs> no, it's just letters. They're like, it's, it was written to look like initials. Why is the V? Oh, Van. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're close. You're really close. Well, I don't know the name. I just know that if there's going to be a lowercase v, then it's going to be a van something, you, right? You will, you will kick yourself. <laughs> Koiba got van... it. I saw on his face that Koiba got it. Von. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you. No idea. <laughs> That's a lie. Come on. <laughs> 
through head empty, dude. Zoom. I'm just nodding along. I'm just nodding and smiling, dude. <laughs> head I, empty. I know who it is. That's fine. That's, I, fine. I that's, fine. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I hate you. Hey, don't blame me. Blame them. I'm going to assume. Knife gore. Again, because normally I would just wait for Kess to fill an exposition, but I don't want to put words in her mouth because, like, I don't know if she would be as forthcoming as. Daigon would so be would Daigon, like how she forthcoming would Daigon be? Just like we'll just well, say that you. Well, because I don't want to start. Because I'm assuming like she wouldn't just sit there silent while I wrote it all out, kind of thing. Um, you know, we can we can retcon it. Maybe I'll ask during the break when Bell gets here, and if we sure. need to, we can try and retcon something. But I will, I will just sign to Kess. I I think we got to tell him. I mean, technically, it's not like we really did anything wrong, and I guess we'll just whatever. Whatever talking me and Kess need to do for me to convince her to tell them the the story, and then oh, what she will well what she will tell them, and Bell can add or modify it uh, later, sure, and I'll tell sure, her what sure, I sure, told sure. her. But what she'll say is, um, before we met you guys at the party when it was just me and Daigon, um, one of our contracts was to get this for someone, and Daigon will show again the sketch of the amulet. Um, and, and she'll say, we, we, were, we were asked to just return it to a mutual friend and a really quick, not like very subtle, but hopefully a quick look at Brooks uh, that he clocks. Um, I would say we like were to think I clock that. Yeah. yeah, we were asked to get this for a friend. As soon as they said um, collect item for a friend, that's typically, Brooks will be like, oh, yeah. I, I know what this means. Yeah. I know yeah. what this means. I know that and, they were out whoring. Yeah, and inside like we, of that joke now, you know. Yeah, it's like so we 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 had to steal it from uh, a guild in Eldalon, uh, and I, I just like Daigon does a quick thing. He's like D Daigon wasn't very happy about the stealing part. Um, and after we had given it back and like done the job, been paid. We got this letter that just showed up at the hotel or the inn we were staying at. And the letter just had some vague invite that said we were invited if we could find them, those initials and a drawing of a castle overlooking a town. So technically, we we just received a vague invitation with no date, no expiration date, no RSVP. Like, we haven't done anything wrong. They, I don't know what they expected us to do. Ball's in their court still, in my opinion. Is and that's, the, that's, that's my version of what Kess is going to say, and Belle can amend that later if she wants to add Do you show us the drawing? Anything. Yes, and the, again, the drawing is, and then I'll flesh it out a bit more while Kess is talking. Um, and I'll just write, uh, I'll just draw an arrow, because I don't have colors, an arrow to the gem. I'll, uh, oh no, the castle. Red. Oh, I can try and draw the castle. I don't know if Daigon's that good of a I can well, try you said, you said you, that it came with the invitation, so I'm just wondering if you still have it, I guess. Oh, quickly, oh if, okay, if you ask for that, if, if you ask, do we have the invitation? There we go. I'll, I'll explain That's the, the shenanigans. That, that Daigon is describing. Yeah, right. and then I'll explain, um, Kess will explain the shenanigans we pulled back at the stop when Daigon weirdly started signing to Brooks for no reason. It was because we were ditching this invitation, and this invitation is now back in that chest that we buried for the saucy spider gang somewhere. Ah. And then, because Daigon's, <laughs> and then she looks, she very much credits this to, to Daigon's, like, because Daigon's idea was if they found that note, maybe they knew who this person was and it looked intimidating and maybe they wouldn't fuck with us because they maybe now think we're affiliated with someone scarier than them. I don't know. That was the gist. That sounds like the stupidest them. fucking idea you two have ever had. Yeah, I, and then Daigon just writes in her journal, I mean, I regretted it this morning, but I feel like you would know all about that. <laughs> Looks at Brooke. <laughs> Little morning regrets. Right, morning regret? I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Waking up and regretting like... your actions from the previous night. Nah, there's no point in regretting things. So... F fucking Strudel Von Zoodles out there. Just hoping that we show up at their door? Also, but we don't know what their door I'll, I'll, I'll write over is. the amulet that it's the name of the amulet. Uh, just write it in the journal. It was called the Holy Amulet of Ravenkind, and that's why the ravens had Daigon on edge and why I started sketching it, because ravens were in the oh, title of the amulet. Amulet. It doesn't look very raven-y. 
makes it such a good disguise. I... Name of the amulet ring any bells this? for anyone? Uh... I mean, holy I amulet of raven guy. I think it's probably holy in some way or another. <laughs> well, that sounds like it's up. Do I, I know of any... Alley. Do I know any relics of from religious texts of like a holy relic of like raven kind is that of importance make a anyway. make a religion check hell yeah all oh, that fucking bounced right out of the fucking thing actually make it history you mother oh it's the same fucking number never yeah. mind 22 Just for the sake of do you know 22. on the religious spectrum of mm. of this or the religious side of this coin i guess the only deity that you're very familiar with would be the Raven Queen. But um, that is not what this is. You also know that there are beings that aren't necessarily gods that, that use ravens um, that typically don't live in this plane of existence, uh, but ravens do, and that mm. they typically use them to be their messenger when they need to reach someone or something on this plane of existence but you don't know who what and where they're from but you know that oh that is a practice Sorry. okay and i'll just start also writing out a longer entry <laughs> reading notes guys look using Yo! um so i mentioned that we got this letter this letter was delivered also via raven like we woke up after doing that job and we woke up in the morning and there was a raven like at our window with yeah. this letter and the night before like while we were sleeping the castle that was drawn on the letter i had also seen in a dream and that dream it was like there was a fog two yellow eyes appeared in the fog and i could see kes in the dream and then there was some sort of wolf-like creature in the dream, wearing a wooden version of the amulet that we had stolen. So also there was weird dreams involved. And then the letter, and they seemed matched, and we were just like, bad vibe, and didn't bother dealing with it. <laughs> well, I mean, it does sound like a super welcoming invitation to a random cast in the middle of nowhere that's, you know, affecting your dreams and now following you. I mean, that sounds Ooh, Did just... you steal the amulet from? You mentioned a guild and elder one, but... Uh, I'm just gonna look at Kess, and Kess will go, uh, we'd rather not say, plausible deniability. What do you mean, plausible deniability? She doesn't if we don't tell you, diplomatic community. <laughs> if we don't tell you, then you can't be asked to inform on us, because you don't know the answer. Oh yes, because of everything we've been through, that's how we're gonna take you down. So what you're saying is, <laughs> the... The ravens that are following you What's and the, the dreams that you're having list. about a fake version of this same amulet dream aren't singular. gonna give away. Dream singular. Okay, One dream. right. One dream sense. singular. <laughs> Do isn't gonna give away at all that you might have had something to do with this. Even though it definitely seems like you stole this amulet from someone you really, really shouldn't have and possibly has something to do with the fact that you're now being coerced into this invitation. We brought the amulet to a much safer place where it was supposed to be. We were bringing it to a better place. It shouldn't have been where it was in the first place. So, I'm just gonna throw this out there. Who dictates that? I <laughs> really hate this fucking discussion and maybe we should save it for a later point. No, no, we got time to kill on this road. I, know. <laughs> I would much rather fucking get a move on and focus on making sure we're not being fucking followed by more birds. Yeah. And then Daigon just right end of the day, it's all well and good. These ravens, like, time is running out. The letter had no address, no instructions. Uh, it had a vague sketch. And I feel like, you know, castles are I not just one castle in the world. So I don't know what they expect us to do. I feel like when we said we're not being chased by anyone, no one after us, I feel like this probably should have come up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not taking shit here. from you. What you? I told you about the night webs. What the fuck else you want from me? A lot you didn't tell us about your Earth Elemental crazy dad. I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't real. Funny enough, <laughs> your dad wasn't real. No, but he was just a crazy old man. He was, I didn't think it was actually a thing. You know, I thought he was just going. You didn't think of... it entirely weird that your granddad 
And then you no! also fucking got the same loopy fucking fever dream shit. No, because funny enough, <laughs> nobles go mad. <laughs> it happens a lot. <laughs> nobles go mad. My dad's yes. doing all right. For now. As far as you're it's been a very... Why, why does that sound threatening? I don't yeah, know what it's meant to be. I'm going to be honest with you, it's been quite a stressful few days and weeks for me, so this yeah. kind of not needed. Well, again, I will sign to Kess and Kess will translate for Daigon. Again, it, we weren't being chased for as far as we were concerned. We were invited well, somewhere. Clearly not. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> we were invited somewhere poorly and we chose not to accept the invitation, which is not a crime. So. It's, it's a crime. I'm I'm going to just it's walk over so to Eladrin. Eladrin oh, is losing God. it, dude. <laughs> Brooks, Brooks just walks over to Eladrin and sort of like just cups his face. What do you want? Breathe. I say this is someone that appreciates having you here. Hello. Chill the fuck out. Okay. It's going to be okay. Okay, I'm fine. Don't, don't make I'm, me slap you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out my meerkat plushie and give it to a Lazarin and like forcibly wrap it and like make him cuddle it. Just like, like put it in his hands and then just there you go. I do that <laughs> thing, you know, you, you the grab it like a little too tightly. It's like the yeah, <laughs> it's choking it out. At some point, we're gonna have to take that, that plushie to some form of fucking therapy. <laughs> No, like, like we're gonna have to take it to a fucking um, a b -b 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 fucking artificer that can put a squeaky toy noise in it. Jack's pipes up. No. I could probably do that. No. <laughs> I don't want it to squeak. The squeaky meerkat sounds no. like a perfect tavern name. Could probably also make it make different sounds if I really wanted to. That'd be fun. <laughs> To, to make it make Walking sense, you have to like, purring, like a put a little heart in it and, and do a little ceremony with it and... Could do a, make it a full musical instrument. It's a builder bear. You know, you know those people who play like on a cat piano and just meows? Slap on the makeup. Do you reckon you could make a hollow crevice in the inside to store a knife? No. That is not where I thought you were going with that, Brooks. I'm so glad you said the word knife. <laughs> oh my god. You could also store drugs in it, but... Again, not what I was thinking, but okay. He was thinking about your penis. In a meerkat. It's in a plushie. Prison goes lonely, man. What can I say? Koi <laughs> fucking <laughs> Koi was oh. out here. Fucking compare the meerkat comes on. He's like, I've got to leave the room. <laughs> dude, meerkat manor, dude, on Animal Planet. That shit slapped, bro. Used to watch it so all the fucking time. <laughs> so good. Dope as fuck. Yeah, Elasmus oh. just gonna like... <laughs> Just kind of hold the plushie kind of close to him as he walks and just kind of clearly gonna... still just mid freak out in his brain but while like, we not out loud anymore of, while we sort of keep moving on i'm now gonna take another look around for these freaking birds one of which is is hunter's marked uh what how does hunter's mark work again with like tracking i have advantage on any checks i make to find it just make a perception check then with advantage yeah Double fives. Fuck off. Oh, a koi bar. That's an eleven. You can't. You you don't see them. Don't and see any while, birds. No. While don't you're looking out, no. again, I'll I'll say to Kess and she'll translate. Also, it's not like it really matters right now because we're kind of about to be pirates and we can't put that off any longer. So we'll have to deal with this later anyway. True. Plus, how far <laughs> can ravens fly out? <laughs> How how far can ravens fly out from the the coast really? So if we're far enough to see, what the fuck are they gonna do? Stare at us from the fucking beach and and complain? I'm sure your average raven has the range to fly. Probably, well they they're migratory <laughs> creatures, you know. It's so a they, crow's they nest, travel, not a raven's nest. So they travel pretty great distances. Also, if they're at all magical birds, that all goes out the window anyway. I mean, eh, just fucking tell him in bird speak to fuck off or we'll kill him. Again, if they're magical, I don't think they really care about dying. That's the thing. They're, they're here to, right. to sort of give a message and not... If they arrive, then the message is sent regardless, right? If we're out at sea and those ravens turn up, then we know that they can find us wherever we are. That's the real scary part. At which point we okay. blast the fuck out of them. Right. But again, the message is sent, and it's not about the birds. It's about whoever's sending them. 
I don't know about the bird. It's about sending a message. <laughs> well, right. But, it, like, actually, though. Yeah. Uh, do you guys kind of talk about this while, while going? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A few hours later, exactly. sun begins to set, and uh, it's, it's a little foggy. A little, little foggy, foggy evening. Oh, I uh, dislike that. <clears throat> As you uh, probably find it a high, find yeah. a place to to start to make camp for the night. Oh, um, the dome is fucking coming up when we're ready to camp. <laughs> the dome it's is coming, coming up. It's coming up. now here giving everyone top. The dome is coming. The dome is coming. <laughs> All right. So, Wait your uh, turn. The dome is for coming. For the sake of the the nights, you know, do you guys build a fire, have some food, sit around it, or do you just kind of? Yeah. I yeah. Uh, I ain't afraid I, no ghost. Okay. Uh, do, and uh, I'm gonna keep do, a do, do, high do, do, alert do, do, do. for Yenny yellow eyes, and I'll remember thinking about that dream I haven't thought about in months. <clears throat> in fact, after how miserable I imagine our last <clears throat> camping trip was, coming back from uh, Silver Keep, I'll I'll make a I'll make a pretty big fire, okay. get it going, right. get a night, and then forage, get some you know sort of food, whatever, fresh water. At hell some yeah, point, yeah. once we're like starting to settle down a little bit, like you know, just sort of waiting for food to cook, I will semi sheepishly just go back over to Daigon and hand her over the Mia cat back. Go, <laughs> Cheer, cheers. Sort of lost my cool a bit back there, but thank you, appreciate it. Just lost my cool for a second. Cool there. Just like, <laughs> that, just a little bit. You know, it's <laughs> no big deal. Nothing, nothing major. Just uh. Right. Anyway, um, and I'll just kind of walk away as I kind of awkwardly hand it back to her. <laughs> just... <laughs> Alazrin? Like, hello! You want a drink with that help? I think that would probably make things a lot, lot better. <laughs> uh, I have port, brandy, whiskey, rum, or... Red wine. <laughs> I don't have any red wine. Oh, my port will do then, it's close enough. No way, what the fuck? I threw in my last bottle of red wine. Yeah. Oh. I, I mean, port, right? Because like I... you didn't have red wine, right? Uh, sorry, port. I yeah. Sorry. I will create it like I created the meat cap last year, a second ago, and I will start to aerate it just in the bottle. Can't be fucked to put into a glass. But I'll... Start to aerate it? God, you're so fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm an alcoholic, but a classy alcoholic. Do that thing you put in the teeth. Like... I buy my like cans of Stella at Waitrose. Okay. <laughs> Stella Artois. Stella Fuck Artois. off. Okay. Um, name, but... Anything you guys want to discuss while you're camping, or is it time to yeah. set up watches? Uh, I would like at some point to sit down next to Dagon. Yep. And I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to grab a page out of my journal mm -hmm. and just start writing at the top. And just put. So, you get a haircut. This then. necklace. Our mutual friend? Question mark. I will write back first job slash initiation. Do you think maybe it would be worth asking her about it? Since she knows the item, she might know who this is. All right, already did. Amulet destroyed. She told you that the amulet is destroyed. I will nod, yes. But she didn't tell you who it originally belonged to, or. I don't think notes. so, but let me check. Let me check, because I don't trust my memory. Uh, this whole okay. conversation is written, by the way. Yeah, and not because yeah, yeah. Brooks is being particularly stealthy about it, but because, like, it's just easier for Dagon so, uh, to write, so he's doing the same, so they feel on even footing. Like, this is obviously right in the minute long form notes, and then I have a bullet point, the important things, on a Google document. And my Google document just says that she confirmed she destroyed it, but I don't know, I didn't write anything else, so I don't remember when she told us or the context, but yes, it's destroyed. Daigon believes it is destroyed, so... As far as Daigon is aware, it oh. is destroyed. Oh, and then thinking about it, I'll be like, I have remembered one more thing. And I'll look at the group and being like, oh, I don't know, should I tell them to have a moment? And then I'll be like, I'll just start 
we'll start with just Brooks and say we looked up the amulet in a book later. Um, book was called The Adventures Adventures in Barovia. And the there's the connection. There's, there's, the there's the moment that he gets it. <laughs> anyway, connected for the sunny in Barovia, baby. <laughs> anyway, started so... to half get it, but I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we looked up in that book, and it says the amulet was worn by high priests to protect against a certain type of creature. And then I just go like this. <laughs> Oh, I'll write that. The biting kind, not the fun kind. Spiders, yeah. <laughs> spiders! <laughs> and Lazarin hates spiders. I hope it's not spiders. Ants. to freak out. Ants I don't like. Brooks doesn't like spiders. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Boom! He doesn't like their... Uh... doesn't like their ant culture. Listen, man, I mean... You got mentioned last campaign, dude. It was about time that I Yeah, I fucking know, that. but like, I, I don't fucking know. The moment that I, came I, I got the first bit, so I couldn't figure it out. I was like, the fuck is the last? I was like, what? I had to whip it out at some point, right? I knew it was coming up, and I hate you. <laughs> I'm trying to find in my notes whenever we had the conversation where she said she destroyed it, but that's going to take me a minute. That, so I don't yeah, because that was probably since zero. That was like a few sessions later. So that like, was a few sessions later, yeah. So yeah, I'm just so like madly fucking... flipping, but. I mean, my notes all... just look like this, so it's, it's a lot of reading. You're your mind palace. <laughs> yeah, more, Laura, more Laura mind palaces. While I mind palace, a.k.a. read real Brooks fast. Brooks will make idle, small, quote-unquote, talk mm -hmm. with Dagon by writing. I like to imagine, also just from the other side, of, like, this, the fire. Like, I, we see you two, like, just half look at each other, just looking, like, you know, just writing all down like this. Oh, yeah, like, passing notes, like... Yeah. It's just that, like, I'm not watching like a fucking tennis match. Just left. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Brooks isn't gonna explain himself unless anyone asks. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm drinking. <laughs> yeah, Lazarus. Uh, I'm. I'm sat oh, with the Lazarus. Okay, then just making anagrams of the override and seeing if anything <laughs> remotely interesting comes up from this. Override. Dover right. Um, anything, um, you can think that we got pepper and caramel in session five. There you go. <laughs> anything you guys want to, they lasted longer than Soko's first character did. <laughs> did. Anything you guys want to want to do before it is time to set up, uh, you know, a watch order and what not? Uh, not unless, uh, Dagon has any other stark revelations. Like via the oh, I mean, I'm assuming Barovia doesn't ring any bells for Brooks, so. Nope. Not unless it was in, like, a fucking storybook he read with his brother. No. This is not something that a lot of people know about, or, like, no great details about. Raven it's not on this Raven continent, Raven I don't think. Raven well, we don't know, Raven. but... Maybe it's not even on this plane. Yes. Yeah, sure. I'm getting tired of these motherfucking snakes. <laughs> on this motherfucking material plane. <laughs> Whoa. We dealt with the snake people. I was gonna say, that, that arc's over. Keep paying attention. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, as long as nothing else comes up, I will make idle conversation with Dagon for a while. Idle writing mm -hmm. with Dagon for a while, and then when we're done, I will make an effort of showing Dagon that I'm putting the paper in the fire. Okay. Just oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Also, while we're making a small talk, again, I say I don't. More to work. Again, all I have is the her word that she destroyed it, but she also showed us a vision of what would have happened in her words if we hadn't got that item, and she showed us a vision of Eldalon destroyed, and I believed her. AKA, I rolled high on my insight check, and she didn't seem to be bullshitting at the time. So. Oh. I mean, that oh, has... and she never mind. She showed us. I have it. So yeah, she she physically showed us the broken amulet. We have seen it. Okay. Um. And so... that was that was on the twenty second of Chumas, 
And it's currently the 26th of Osim. So that was over a month ago she showed us the broken amulet. So Not you too. guys have only been doing this thing for a month? Uh, like two. I thought it was a lot longer than that. No, not that long. I no longer feel like Kess is the expert she makes out to be. She's not. Yeah. Unless anything unless Dagon Asbrook's anything in particular, they just chat, I guess. Remind me for my notes of the words you know in sign language. Yes, no, good, evil, the word for tea, or the word, the sign for tea and the sign for cup. Am I missing any on my list? Yes, yes, no, no good, evil, good, evil, so, thank tea. You. I don't know. Thank you. Okay. I don't know. Can you, Can you repeat? repeat the question? <laughs> uh, food. Good. Okay. Drink. Healing. Drink. Um, <laughs> you know what? Just for relevancy, because when I was when I mentioned what the amulet, um was in theory protective against i'll teach you whatever the sign is for vampire i think it might be something like this <laughs> something like this isn't it like actually do i need to like in real life yeah. touch or like yeah it's, it's literally like that like, like one or some word shit. at a time am i fine you're fine if it's, if it's like one word or a couple words at a time sure you know if you I'm gonna be sat like, there with the last like, so. Over the next week, I want to spend a few hours a day to learn at least 50 words in sign language a day. Then I'll be like, okay, let's get the dice up. If like one word, like. Eh. Uh, you know. I will also ask Dagon to teach me the word for us. I was gonna say, I don't know if it's a word, but I would probably just say, you know, something like this would make, but obviously, I don't know sign language. No one take me at my. Like, I mean, Laura does not know sign you language. Are, you are the one that's deciding <laughs> this particular variant of sign language. Though. Yeah, in D&D, oh, yeah. Steve's D &D. Can can this, is, this means us. This means us. That's us. Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously, like, there's literally, like, pointing, like, you, yeah. me. But... Yeah. What is the sign for us? Because to me, like, this would be a good... But also, this, to me, this could be, like, you know, cycle, like circle. This, right? this something, could be something like, pointing up well, and doing like a circle, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, that's why I figure like this kind of gesture. Yeah, right. people, I'm pretty but... sure. But like, either way, I'll yeah, I'll teach Brooks whatever that is. Doesn't have to be fucking accurate. In my head, it's this. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we're inventing our own. Version. Exactly. Because like, is there a fucking? Is there? There's a lot of words in D and D that don't really see the English language in today's day and age. So I don't yeah, this... Yeah. <laughs> like, sign like... <laughs> what's the sign language for press digitation? Exactly. Oh god. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> shall we say? That Early break, guys, for you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna insinuate too. So we'll say that you guys set up your um <clears throat> your uh watches oh. and we'll like before we get into the watches. Um when oh when we get back, can I make it so Kess and I will ask to do a watch shift together and mm -hmm. I can just have an in character. Basically it's a way for me to be like, hey Kess, if you didn't want to divulge all that information, sorry I forced you to, and we'll just have a chat about sure. that yeah. also. So we'll do that. Uh, but then we can just kind of like go on break early so we can get Kess uh, we can get Bell in here and then Bell can play yep. along the rest of the session. Yep. Is that yep. an idea? Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Alrighty. So gamers, a little early break, but we'll be back uh in a few minutes. Uh because Bell's here and I don't want to like, you know, she's here, so why not just take a break early and see Make play wait. Exactly. So we'll wait. be back shortly. Uh, yeah, be right back. Yeah, oh, yeah, I was like, Bell's headphones aren't really on. Hello so there. Maybe we're not. Hello. I uh, did my, my best. <laughs> we'll find out now. How to uh, do the fucking studio mode thing. Oh, whoops. Uh, does it look okay? The board is okay. Oh. It I does. mean, it's still on the break screen. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I think it does. I think it does. I think that looks pretty good. I'm very dude, impressed. Dude, it looks fine to me. Well, GG. What did you say? Yeah, no, it looks so good. Hey, Belle! Her headphones aren't on. They oh, were on, and on then we bitch. told you we were ready, but then realized her headphones weren't on, so... This, this, <laughs> We this can't bitch. hear her. I think she... she Belle can hear... Belle can hear us. We can't hear her. Yeah, there we oh. go. Oh, great. I can oh, look, read. I'm really good at this. But we oh, could hear her she, before if she changed Because she took the headset off. Because oh. it was... It's one of those mics you have to breathe down for it to activate. <laughs> yeah. But how come... How come we took the headset off? Was working before because she's probably I... trying to use a different can you hear me now oh yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Jesus. Unfortunately. <laughs> so basically i was using uh my mom's headset thing for work and uh it ran out of power so this will do this will do now that i turned you down a bit this will do 
I mean, I like. There's an odd ringing. Noise. Yeah, yeah. Can you turn on like every noise reduction setting available? <laughs> Like for now, this will do. You it's know what I mean? Fine. Like it's, it's Duke's just in his head, like cries in podcast editing. Cries in. <laughs> just, uh, Bell's here. <laughs> let's go. Just exactly. anytime, anytime, anytime Kess talks, out. apparently there's a ticking time bomb in the background, and it's like speed. She has to. No, it, to me, it sounds like an electronic version of cricket ambience, but yeah. like more synthetic. Cicada. Like, it's, it's, cyberpunk it's cicadas. <laughs> yeah, they can hear your mouse. <laughs> Why is, Why is so her loud? mouse make a noise? Why is it so loud? She doesn't use a gamer mouse. It's really Why loud. Why doesn't your mom use what a gamer mouse? What mouse makes mouse, a beeping what the noise? Frick? I, even regular mice. Is it what still one of those things noises? like the big ass fucking like the red mouse. ball? You know, it's fucking. Like <laughs> whenever you whenever you speak, there's just a really quiet. Beep, 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 beep. Like a little beeping. But thing. like for now, it'll it's do. Fine. I'll I'll yeah. allow it, Bell. Connecting to, oh, to the fucking new castle internet apparently. Fucking but Bell's here, guys. Yeah, Gang, Bell's dialogue. here. Pog, Woo! did you get Yay! the rundown of what happened in the last, like, hour and a half? Yes. Okay. Cool. With that said, we'll uh, dive right back into it. Um, watches for the knights. What's the what's the order there? Me what, and the Lazarin fucking, will go first. The, wait, did, did Ethan's Ethan. camera just, like, do, do a weird Ethan, thing? Fuck into your camera. <laughs> yeah, I'll, for, I'll fix it in a second. Just wait. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> it's just the session of tech weird. I thought it was me. I was like, wait, <laughs> what just happened? I just, I, like, look over and I'm like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> what the fuck? Ethan's okay. in memoriam? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. That's great. Okay, perfect. Um, God, I'm a mess. Uh, <laughs> I'm a mess. This is a mess. This is great, dude. Great. I'll either be first or last. You or... know, this is great. Um, yeah. Watches Here, order. Kes, Kes and I will do the last one since she needs less sleep, and then I get up to meditate. So well, we'll do the I'll very do last the one. First one, then. Me and Lazarus first. Yeah. All right. I will put up the dome. The dome. What's our? What's our? Are we just like in a forest clearing or some shit? Yeah, pretty much. No, make actually, it look like, it's, more, it's more like a like a hillside kind of. Make it look like rock the then. Make okay. it look like big rock, big boulder. Big boulder. Latch, not a boulder. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I like that boulder. That's a nice boulder. boulder. <laughs> um, right. I'll do it as a ritual spell as well, so I'm not using a spell slot. Mm, okay. Um, we'll only assist Jax if Jax takes a watch. Basically, if Onu doesn't go with someone, we're gonna be we're gonna have a watch with just one person. No, Onu's not gonna assist Jax. I mean, Kess will do two watches. Yeah, Kess but even with Kess doing two watches, oh, because Davian and Elazrin are going first. So then, if it's Jax and Brooks, that means the last the third watch is just Kess. That's or if fine. Brooks waits for third, then it means that the second is just Jax. I'm okay with that. Beedy, 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 beedy. <laughs> okay, well, if it has to be one person on their own, I think Jax is probably... Jack, like, Jax is perceptive boy-ish. True. True. So I guess Jax will take second watch on his own. Okay, so first watch is... Me and... Dabian. Cool. <laughs> it's... <laughs> the beating so funny. I don't know why it's funny. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, anything you guys want to do on your watch or discuss um, or you want to kiss and make out? It's like anything. Oh, but that's just, yeah, yeah, we might just we might just have to do that. Actually. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, I want to. I mean, Elazarin's probably somewhat inebriated, but I want to. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I would have like done the drinking like slowly over time and just like downed it. So I think I'm not too bad. If the if the bitch is bougie enough in the middle of the woods to aerate his wine, he's not chugging it. You gotta let it breathe. Exactly. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless it's shit wine, then what does it matter? Which it probably is. And he's... fucking box wine, dude. <laughs> Friends, yeah. Gotta let my box wine breathe. Go for it. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, as, as we're sitting there on watch, I'll I'll just show my the page, my journal, and be like, so right, so far I've got I've got three pretty good anagrams of the override, right? Why are we making anagrams of the override? Does the name 
Theo Deriva mean anything to you? No, not that or I know of. Derive, perhaps? Derive. Oh, now you mention oh, watch. Oh. Now you mention it, Davin. The Derive <laughs> family, of course. I mean, had to be. Not I mean they're such a it's such a big and there was a, is there a is there empire. a Theodore Derive? I mean I mean yeah. I've, I've, I can't believe it was that right in front of course the fucking isn't. Of course the fucking isn't. Right. Well, what about you, you were all well, your father and grandfather or whatever were like did things with rocks, okay? No, I tend to give dumb things with no. So no, what about like that. what about the ore drive? The ore drive. Right. Why are you making anagrams out of this? <laughs> because override doesn't mean fucking anything. So I was like, maybe it's Alright, what about the river doe? Like a female deer. Nothing, nothing you are saying. Nope. It's It's something to think like... about. It is. Also the word override was put about a you know, a couple of hundred times in one place constantly. I mean Think it, think if they wanted it to be an anagram, think you at some point they would have been like, Oh, I know. How about we write an actual thing? You know? Might be a clue. Right, fantastic. But I don't think it's gonna be an anagram. It's kind of a shit clue. <laughs> Retired. I'll keep, I'll keep working on it. What but if it's yeah, a cryptogram, but, not an anagram? If I do a Maya what's an acity and Effort. It's just something to to pass the time, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Well, what do you make of this fucking raven business? It is uh, terrifying. Another thing for us to look out for. Oh, being watched. Terrifying. Oh, you I mean, seem a little bit. I'll put it like I said. It's been we've been pretty full on for the past few weeks. You know. A lot has happened to, you know, personally, to, like, sort of my whole, like, family and well, stuff. Well, we say Valor, you know, that's something, right? Yeah, my parents, are my family is still in hiding. They've been holding a secret from me that I didn't know about basically my whole life. Well, apparently and... one of them's Theo Derive, so... Well, who knows? Long lost brother. Doesn't fit with the whole naming scheme of our family. I'm talking about your dad, you bellend. Yeah, I know. Maybe that means something good. If he knows something about it, or he is it, or he... Could be, or it could be, uh... He could be an oracle for it. He could be, uh... Could be something awful. It could be, I you know... It siphons the life to gain more power. And we're now powering this thing without even knowing it. Uh, uh, um, Who knows? Maybe... Um, maybe he knows where it is. And then maybe. maybe you really should be scared. That, I but. think, is more terrifying, is that he knows a lot of information about it. If not, <clears throat> he realizes he knows, almost intrinsically, like the information's been put there in his brain, rather than he actually knows. So it means if someone tries to come find it, he doesn't know how to answer. Because he doesn't actually realize he has the answer, you know? That's why I'm kind of more scared about at the moment. So, is he... Completely out of it. I mean, he's not completely gone. He's just starting to go. Well, I say starting. I don't really know how long you could say. And it's been a been a year or so since he's, you know, started showing signs. But <clears throat> I mean, Grandad had it for ages, so he seems to be going at the same sort of pace. If not, maybe a little bit more elevated, but I don't know if that's just because I notice it quicker. He still seems sane enough to run the business as much as he did, but my brothers are also there, so. I reckon it's got. Well, I reckon we're going to run into some Earth King or whatever. Um, Earth to... Lord, and all will be made clear, I'm sure. I mean, we've run into two. Elemental lords. Yeah, it's not fully we've already... all of us as a group. We've all of us met one. You've met another. Indirectly had contact with three, I suppose. I mean, if you include okay. uh, 
Stisha? Waterman, whose name I can't remember. Yeah, Stisha. Yeah, Stisha. Stisha. Stisha? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think while we're at sea, we're, there's going to be some... There's going to be there's going to be something about if this should come to light or we're going to who knows we might have to defend ourselves against Istisha's... I don't know people work under him I don't know what would you call it you know maybe if we could go to the wrong place or maybe we'll be fine we're overthinking it we'll be overprotective and we'll anger someone else because we think they're well, one person and it's I suppose it's a complicated um geopolitical landscape or seascape rather when you get uh -huh. out that far because what is owned by a bitch queen and what is owned or sort of managed by a Istisha, where where who has what jurisdiction? Oh, Are they in cahoots? Does have... The elemental lords tend to not have much say in this plane of existence, as far as I can remember from reading. They tend to yeah, stick to that. Is that not like where it all comes from? You know, like yeah, but they, you know, it's like it's like a, a gift. You know, the means they, of production. Yeah, you know, they they stick to their land, you know, their sort of land or their plane, and they. Yeah. I know it's all it's come from like folklore, you know, not actual histories and stuff. It's all you know, they, they, creation stories. It's of, like, just sits in the plane of water and pumps it through. Yeah, no, to the material some, plane. We'll probably get some to pump it through. Let's be honest. And they don't pay well. <laughs> just like fucking working yeah. pumps all day, just pumping water through so that we have exactly. While uh, that... you guys are having this, this chat, yeah. <clears throat> uh, what's your passive perceptions? Uh, mine is 15. Uh, 15. Mine is 16. 16. You both oh, also hear like it. Oh, oh, sorry. in the distance a cacophony of uh, ravens just cawing. And the fog. Cacophony? And a cacophony. A cacophony? And, uh, the mist that has kind of been presence all all evening it's thicker and thicker and starts surrounding oh, no. you i start waking people up immediately well you won't have to because of my rapier it just starts What's going exactly? Nino, Nino. So, you and any companions in 30 feet cannot be surprised except when incapacitated by something other non-magical sleep the weapon magically awakens you and your companions within range if any of you are sleeping naturally when combat begins well that doesn't wake but, up then it doesn't but, but i do say like maybe yeah we'll, also i already can't be surprised as you um, <laughs> yeah. okay it's like i'll let them so oh, i'm, I'm waking people up though if the sword isn't iron the mist like, starts swirling uh, around uh, you, like say like a, 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 a like a, fi a fifty foot radius, right? Just around you, around the dome, just, just going going denser and denser. You to the point where you cannot see through anymore, mm -hmm. and then slowly it lowers again and becomes less and less dense. And you'll see in front of you or around you darkness dead trees without any leaves around them and in front of you a gravel windy road what a bitch what a what you bitch do? i mean i stay in the fucking dome <laughs> and i kind you of say no fuck you i mean yeah fuck it and as he crosses his arms and squeezes well, his eyes shut no <laughs> well it's more like if stomps I... feet on the ground if I leave, the dome goes, and you know, after we can't. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, I will. Seeing this, I'll not start helping Devin wake everyone up. And I'll... Although my page is going off. Aging Doctor Davian. So, uh, it is very clear to you that this is not a dream. This is real. Uh... You can see that there's a lot of fog and mist still around you. But you see in front of you a, a windy gravel road. Do I see anything else? With my a billion it. feet dark vision? Uh, no, because dark vision does not help you see through fog. And you can see about 30 feet Jeez. ahead of you, and that's when the fog becomes too 
hard to really see through. Motherfucker. Okay, I have to be like, it's the everyone up, come up, 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 up. come on, up you get, come on. Oh, I didn't even sleep for an hour. Wake up time, come on. So obviously, this goes without saying, none of you gain the benefits of a long rest. No, okay. get short rest. I, yeah, I'll give you a short rest if you really need one, but I don't I think mean, none, none of us have cast anything. magic since we rested. Exactly, so I don't think it's that yeah, big of a deal. But it's just, just for the record, no long rest benefits, I did. of course. I guess magic. Oh, oh you speak with animals, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. speak with animals is a daily thing, but I use yeah. this hunter's mark. Um, but I also didn't use a pack's magic fucking thing, so I don't get it back anyway. <laughs> oh, there you go. Cringe. So what do you do? Uh, I kind of just, I mean... You Does know, this look familiar to anybody? <laughs> kind of looking at Kesson and Igan. Seen this at all? Like ever? That book I have. Mm -hmm. Does it have pictures in it? No pictures, but the scenery of the dead trees that you can see around you and the darkness and the mist does remind you of a certain dream you shared with Daigon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just signed a Kess. I mean, clearly this dude's bad news. I say we, if we keep him waiting, he has to come to us. Why would we give him home court advantage? Fuck that. No. <laughs> I say we just stay here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree. I think... I mean, this is pretty safe. Can't get in, can't get out, not without my permission. He has to get rid of it himself. Or well, they, I don't know. I'm just assuming it's a dude. Um, well... Yeah, we don't... We don't, don't, know. Just SVZ. We don't okay, know. hello. Your dome. Hello. You cast that. Mm. Yep. On the material plane. Uh, it makes it says spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. Okay, it's good to know. It's good to know. So, um, all right. In that case, oh, this man's about to dispel, dispel my fucking dome. <laughs> in that case, what's the? Um, how does that work again? Like what level spell? What level spell daytime. is it? It is a third level spell, so you just have to do it at fourth level, and it goes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I, I maybe even at third level it goes. Yeah, nope, look. you could just do it at third level and it goes. Fourth level is when you have to uh, start it. You could just do it at basic to spell magic and it will. Yeah, dispel magic would get rid of it. Yeah, yeah I mean, level three dispel magic will just yeah, make it good. I mean, uh... I mean, that's very easy to get rid of. I yeah. so yeah, that's fine. I like we'll to say think that, that just as the like fog fracking. swirled around you, yeah. your dome phew, drops. Oh, good. And you're all well. On this like windy gravel road surrounded by fog, dead trees, and darkness. Motherfucker. I will start to take out my holy symbol. Okay. And just have it like out ready. Just seeing like uh, just seeing like undead sort of necromantic sort of, you know, dead mm -hmm. trees and like unlife. I'm immediately just on like fucking hell, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I will I'll, I'll semi take the the lead if no one else is yeah. sort of if like the other ones and I kind of be hesitantly start walking. Oh, I mean if, if we're not if we're not sitting in the dome, I'll be. Well, we're not I'll in be... the dome. The dome is gone. Yeah, dome's gone. Right. Yeah, so so I'll like, <laughs> I'll be charging. Yeah, I'm. I'll I'll start trying uh... to in if we're like too much doing it, and I'll kind of. I'll call. Fuck it. I'll call out. They they know we're here. So I'm like, you know, you could just send a message. Hello. No need to be so rude and waking us up in the middle of the night. You could just. Well, you aren't asleep. I meant us. That's a group. I'm the royal right. us. The royal, yeah, the royal we. So you call out and you hear a slight <laughs> echo, but no response. Um, do you start I'd... marching or what do you do? Yeah, start going in. Hey, before start. we okay. do, I just sign to Kess. What are the odds this is just very coincidental timing and not because I put the letter in the box? Okay. Well, I mean, <clears throat> we put the letter in the box. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, I mean, coincidences still exist, right? But I know we weren't yeah, sure about I'm, that, but last episode, to last episode's title. I, I mean, yeah, shush. <laughs> I mean, I don't. How how would he know? How would he know? Very fast. You, you, you couldn't. 
<laughs> Cass is huffing Just on making coping. sure this isn't our fault. You know, that's that's not our fault. Okay. Um, you all start walking. Yes. The gravel road leads to a village. Uh, it's tall houses, <clears throat> like three-story houses, maybe even four. Uh, dark as tombstones, and nestled among these dwellings are a handful of close-up shops, and even the tavern that you see in this village that you approach is shut tight. You do feel drawn, uh, your eyes are drawn towards a <clears throat> pair of children standing in the middle of an otherwise lifeless street. Oh, no! Oh, everyone's no, favorite. No, everyone's no, favorite. No, 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 no! It seems that there is a, a boy and a girl, and the boy is, is, is clutching nope. a uh, stuffed doll. Oh, and slightly not. whimpering, crying, and the girl is just trying to like trying to hush him. She's like, "Shh." God, if I fucking speak and sing, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this isn't real, all right? I get this well. I pinched Evan. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not oh, saying that I'm dreaming. I will I'm not see. saying that we're dreaming. At, this is just not real. At seeing, I would fire an arrow at one of those children no, right no, now. No, 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 we don't. Do 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 we can. We can, we can talk about this for once, what and I'll, I'll, and then That's then it'll be, idea. and it'll be the, hello there, children. Um, What's that? What's this matter? Uh, the, hello, the girl, the girl <laughs> looks to you, and and the boy kind of like like startled reaction and kind of like instinctively hides behind uh, the girl. The girl a little bit taller. If they turn into anything horrible, I am firing an arrow. That's fine. Just, I'm just so everyone, um, I'm knocking an the arrow. Girl just like yeah, shouts no. at you. There's a monster in our house, and and she'll point at one of the houses uh, down the street. Uh, she points to a tall brick row house. Uh, seen better days. Windows are dark. Uh, it has like a gated, um, like 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 entryway, like, like with like a slight like arch roof above it. Uh, and the, the houses on either side seem abandoned. Windows and doors boarded up, and the girls just there's a monster in our house, and we're scared. I'll start Where the f slowly towards them, but like s slowly, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then just sort of. Be what like, do you see? Like what? as you get closer, um, yeah. the boy is about like half the height of the girl. The boy yeah. wearing this like purple coat, hood hood up. Uh, this this almost seemingly like homemade stuffed doll clutched in in in. Similar to how you were clutching the mirror catch, like like this, just like to to his chest. Okay. Um, skin uh, grayish, with uh, with with dark blue eyes. The girl stands about twice the boy's size, uh, wearing a pretty fine, well-made looking dress with some boots under, and also a red cloak. Uh, long black hair and the same like gray skin and dark blue eyes as as the boy. Oh, kind of. What kind of monster? And how did, how did you get out? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the monster looks like, but we're hearing terrible howls coming from the basement, and we ran. I don't know where mom and dad are, and we just want to go home and to bed, but not with that monster in there. Inside yeah, check. You know yeah, one inside check. Are, by the way. Sorry? Wow. Where we are? I think she asked where we are. Uh, home. Where is home? Barovia? That makes sense. It's not the answers. Also, uh, on insight, natural <laughs> twenty. Natural twenty? Oh. Yeah, no. This. They are fully convinced that what they're saying is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. True. There is a monster so in their basement, look... and they are terrified. Do they look injured at all? Can I like do a quick like? Uh, so natural twenty. Huh? Oh, natural no. twenty. It was natural no. twenty. Yeah. No. Woo! No. Oh my god. Uh, what do you? What do you? What do you? What do you want to do? I just want to see if there's any like of any injuries on them at all. Um, like, as you approach, the, the like, like, kids yeah. are a little hesitant, but as you kind of like, kneel down be, and yeah. uh, they seem fine. They don't seem injured. They seem okay. healthy. Well, you wait here, I guess. And... Which house was it again? That one that kind of points that to the house today. Yeah, mom and dad, um, trapped it in the basement, and, and um, but it haven't seen them, and the monstrous house, just these terrible howls, and we what, got scared. What are your parents' name? What are your parents Sorry. Names? What are your parents' names? Yeah, you know, um, so we can. Gustav and Elizabeth. Gustav. 
And I, what are I'm, your names? <clears throat> I'm <clears throat> Rose of Alda, but you can call me Rose, and this is my younger brother. He's, he's called Thornbolt, or Thorn. Rose and Thorn. Rose and Thorn, eh? That's and not weird the, at all. They had a naming thing, didn't they? That Toriadors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, no. if you wait here and be brave, we'll um we'll go check that out. There's also like... there's there's a, there's another child, a baby, in the nursery in the third floor, and we we couldn't get to him. Absolutely kill it. And can you maybe check see if he's no. okay and and potentially bring him to us? Yeah, of course, of course. Of course, of course. And it's that look, go back to the like, Yeah, absolutely not. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what, what, what else do we see? We, there's one house. There's two it's like kids. A, it's, like, it's a brick row house. There's a row of houses. All the okay. houses seem like three, maybe four stories. Uh, like very old, almost like Victorian style architecture. Like these tall but skinny looking houses uh, made of brick. Uh, just a row of rows of them, but most, if not all of them, are like windows are boarded up, doors are boarded up. But the house that she pointed to does not seem to be boarded up because they came from that house. And the street goes on. Uh, yeah. And we see a castle in the distance. <laughs> it's because of the fog all around you. Okay. It's pretty hard to, to to see. Like you, okay. you have vision of like the street, and that's about it. Yep. What's the baby's name? Walter. What? Walter? Walter? Walter. Th th Walter. Like wallflower? Like wolf no, wolf like Walter, but with a th. Oh, with a th. I Walter. think it's a, whatever. It's a shit name for a shit child, either way. It doesn't go with the naming theme, either. They got Rose on the wolf. I mean, it, it's just confusing. It's I just... mean, they're probably just going to let that one die, to be honest. I mean... <laughs> Oh Why is not named Petal or something? You know, Pete. Petal. Can we? Nobody else thinks this is fucking insane. Oh, I'm not I going. Put my hand up. Oh, oh no. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is You're this is fully me. fucked. But might as well roll with it. What are we gonna do? They destroyed our dome. <laughs> this I'm gonna is... just keep walking. No. The we first... sit still and we don't get... move and make them come We to get us. teleported, no. and the first thing we see is two fucking children asking us to go into the one <laughs> house that isn't boarded up. Because there's a monster. That doesn't seem a little bit like a trap to anyone. Yeah, what else are we going to do? Just wait out here for it? Might as well set, yes. set the I trap off and as be he fucking done with it. No. No, I, fuck, I fucking hate this. Oh, oh I, I hate this as well, but do you know what? At this point, what else can fucking you know go wrong for us? Of all the things we've been through Hang recently. Well, Elasrin, can't you like sense fiends and shit? Um, no. I mean, I could have if I knew I was going to be in this situation before we were here. Oh, great. But I don't... I just knew you always had it prepared to keep track of me on a night out. <laughs> no. You're not I kind of... Though, you? you know, you know, I kind of... No, but he's, you know... Let them out. Mildly and, you know, against fiends. I'm today. More the undead. But it's a little... You know. the, the girl will kind of just like... Sorry, not like aggressively or anything. It's kind of like puts her hand on like your sleeve, Elazar, and just kind of like. Oh no! Can you please help us? Instantly, I'm like checking for all my fucking pockets. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not trying to pickpocket you, okay? They're not trying to fucking. Rob I've been you. They're not trying to take bitch. something away. They're trying to give you something. A their dagger. Hand clearly goes on your sleeve, and it's just kind of like just like like a soft like. Only too close Please. to my hidden pockets for my liking. Oh, fuck off. Well, the children are not an illusion. Oh, yes, yeah, sure, they're not. So. I will. I will pat mystery, one, one of the children soul. on the, like, the child that's holding, like, my Steven does, I'll kind of, like, pat them on the shoulder to, like, fucking check if it's <laughs> actually real. Yeah, they're tangible, yeah. Yep, okay. Well, then, there we will. Just you wait, right? Don't move a muscle, don't move. You stay right there. You don't go anywhere. Don't go lost. Don't go wandering. If anyone else comes along and says, oh, we can save you. And like, no, you don't go with them. You just stay right where you are here. And I'll draw like a circle in the dirt around them. <laughs> like, can if we... I can. Is it like. So do we wait here for you? We're... Right here. 
do not leave this circle unless you are in utter mortal danger. Then okay. you can run away. So you're going to help us? No. Oh, well, yes. Do we, do we have enough salt that we could, like, put a circle of salt around them? <laughs> This is supernatural. Like, just yeah. trap them. I don't think that, like, you know. Is it fairies as well that happens with? Like, fake creatures couldn't do that as well? Isn't that a thing? Yeah. I don't. Uh, then I we don't can put a circle of salt around you, Kess, and then you'll be trapped. I am not. A fake creature? Traffic, so, it doesn't work for me. It's like she was. You okay. know, she was born there, but she's not, like. <laughs> Oh, so when you're born in a different country, but, like, you're technically not... She, you know, it'd be like one of us could be born in an elemental plane, but wouldn't make us an elemental, you know? No, I mean... Well, Kess is kind of an <laughs> elemental, though. Yeah, but she's well, not... Bad example. She's not a fey creature. Can I ask... She's not... Can I ask you a question? What are genetics? Depends, yes, what's up? Are you not okay. from here? Because the woman over there didn't know where she was? Yeah, no, none of us know where we are. Where are we again? Barovia? Barovia. Barovia. Can you... Is that the name of the town? Yes. And what plane is that? What do you mean? It's... What's that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> you, you might learn there's like the astral plane and the they're not going to get elemental to the, planes. And... Do, we, do we have time for this right now? Are we going to yeah. stay I, here? Or are we going to do stuff? Or are we... Is it like... Maybe like diff I I don't understand. Imagine going to a different, different town. Imagine going to a different town, right? But everything's completely I've never different. Been to a different oh, shut town. up, Elijah, no, and no, I hate no, you for that. Right. You are terrible. Yes, you know how you know how you feel right now about like something that someone doesn't know, and it seems quite obvious that you should know about it. This is how we feel. This is how we feel every time you ask us a stupid question. That's just racist. What's not right? What you? What? <laughs> no, what? I don't know anything. <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, team huddle, real quick. All right. Yeah, we're going to team huddle. What's going on? Are we going inside that fucking house? Of course. Nod, no. Nod, no. Aggressively. Do you think we why not? Just, like, go hold on. What do you mean? Of course. Why not? I can think of a lot of reasons why not. There's a monster in there. There's a creepy fucking baby in there. There's creepy kids outside. The house is creepy. This whole place is creepy. Right, uh, yes, I know. I know what we'll do. We'll, we'll sit here, do nothing. Nothing will happen. We'll all be fucking tired for eight hours. Because we don't get any sleep. Because we stay awake in here. Because we're not going to fucking sleep in this creepy hellhole. And then you know what? We'll just all blow over like nothing happened. And we walk for the rest of the day tomorrow. What if we just start walking? What if we just start walking? It will follow us. It could. It could break what my dome. What will follow Davin. us, Davin? It could break my dome in an instant. It has to be at least a certain bit of. Power. That was us getting magic here. That has nothing to do with the monster in the house. We don't no, know what the monster in the house is, but if it wants to eat the no, baby, the, then who cares? It, but the town. It will buy some time. Follow us everywhere. It's just going to follow us. We're not going well, away from if, here. If the town follows us, then we go in the house. Right. But first, we try no. to run. No, I just, just, what was if we just I'm just gonna draw a sun in the ground really quickly, like in the dirt, and then just like point to it and sign to cast. Wait till morning. We know, like limited duration means sunlight. Most things Can... that we should wait. be afraid of. Okay, not, like, sunlight okay. hang on, hang on. Are we? I'm gonna wait for see if Cass repeats that. <laughs> Before I, I do my response. Right, so are you just concerned about daylight? Is that your concern right now? No, daylight will weaken the being right. that lives here i'll pull out the globe <laughs> <laughs> that's not real daylight but i can make magical daylight i can make magical I daylight with this dm can we is it even perceptible what time of day it is we know it's, it's been an hour <laughs> Dark. Dark. but we can't Why? see the night sky it's just fog like what's there's a lot of fog around you. You can see stars above you, and a vague star. moon. But is it a full moon? Oh, um, yeah, like as close as it gets. Yeah. There's a werewolf in the basement. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> it's just a regular wolf. We should be aware of it. Oh, I hate you. The dire wolf, the same as a normal wolf, but it's dire. 
rip from <laughs> our situation. <laughs> I, mean, I could just. It's a wolf, if, but it knows what's if going sunlight, on. Sunlight for an hour. I can for an hour. I can give us as if we've got daylight near us. We burn I... the house down. Problem solved. Will... Burn the house. No, I will, I will look at the dragon in the basement. And I'll conjure flames with both hands. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 Because <laughs> is it just trapped? They said they've trapped it in the basement. They've said it's trapped it. So if we burn it, it releases it. Sorry. Which is Those are not normal I children. I need to redact something. Okay. The sky <laughs> above you is nothing but a blanket of dark clouds. Oh, oh okay. fantastic. <laughs> what time of day is it? Fucking who knows? <laughs> what time of day is it, Cloudy? <laughs> the chance I'm uh, quarter past cloudy. I want to look at Dagon, and I want to sign the sign that she taught me. For vampire. Ooh. Yeah, and I'm just gonna nod and then point again was at it? the sun that I drew in the ground. Was that spiders? What are we talking about? Oh, thank <laughs> fuck no! I prefer this to spiders. <laughs> oh, vampire. <laughs> you got this, spiders? Really? This? To spiders. Vampires are very much one size. Spiders can be tiny or fucking huge. I think you can get some big vampires, to be fair. Can, can I take vampires? a glance back at the kids? Is there any evidence of fangs poking out or when they were speaking? Can I see? Do the kids have fangs? Well, you have to get a little closer to look at that, but... Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, you I'll say that Elazrin, when you were talking to the kids, their, yeah. their teeth seemed very normal and human. It seems pretty normal and what human is... to me. How do they smell warm when you touch them? Were they warm? <laughs> a little chilly, but they've probably been weird. outside for a little bit. It's got, you know. I mean, but... they didn't seem like. In my not like rigor mortis level undead. cold undead. No, ain't no undead if... vibes from them. Just if I if I try and like sniff the breeze with my slightly better than average sense of smell from feline heritage do i smell anything that like would smell not human coming from the kids no ah, god damn it i will cast as a ritual detect magic mm -hmm. any bad vibes <laughs> bad juju. any pro any big bad juju happening you cast your spell yep and Don't pick up any magic. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, if anything, that makes you feel worse. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, for a little bit. I say we just do it. <sighs> Why not? To save every child we come across. I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna do like the little kid thing where I do the. I'm not moving. I'm gonna sit down, cross-legged on the ground, and like. I'm just gonna like, check no, it I'm out. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm just going to the door. I'm gonna poke my head in. Right. right. I'll have the globe with me. It, we'll keep walking that way. You guys, you are like the most curious bunch of know. Why are you not curious about this now? As you are kind of having a discussion, <laughs> as you as you are having a discussion, you suddenly hear the kids like kind of like, what? Watch out! The mist and the mist is closing in, like moving towards you. I will on. Oh, I will get my globe and I will cast daylight from it. Okay. The kids go. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just crumble to ash right there. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I'll, like I'll chug up in the air, so it's not just daylight in my face. And I flashbang myself. Just like <laughs> daylight. Fuck. <laughs> you cast the 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 daylight spell and you chuck the yeah. the thing up. Like how far? Where? Globe. Just up. The globe just goes up in the air. Like it, it hovers five Make... feet. It hovers five feet. Uh, like it does not me. pierce the mist at all. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, good. And we'll the just... mist just like it keeps closing in on you to the point where it's oh, almost like pushing oh. you to the house. Oh, oh fantastic! Oh. So look at that—we don't get the choice. So we're this being fucking, we're being that. fucking cart rolled by some mist. I will I'm uh. Long on my back and take out a sword and a, uh, a dagger and a short sword and. I will start. I'm gonna start walking to that house with the okay. glow. Fine. I'm gonna have the orb going in front of me. Um, can we move? The mist is coming. Nah, you stay right fucking. Bad. Bad. <laughs> I think. Until the mist gets really close to you and starts being bad, then yes. But, I mean, is the mist bad? It, um, I don't know, but mom and dad always said not to touch it. Well, keep on the very edge of the mist, but, like, not, like, very, very, you know, just not too far away, but, like... Not Where the fuck close. else are they going to go? Fucking, I mean, oh, I fucking hate this. Just fucking as the mist kind of, like, the mist kind of, like, at this point, like, kind of, like, pushes everybody there, including the kids, so, like... The front gate us. into the yard of the house, yeah. and that's where the mist just stops. So all you well, can you see now, all gates. you can see no, now no, no. is the house, the yard, yeah. 
like the gates, and behind you it's just mist. So the kids kind of like are like huddled up, like to the gates. Stay next. Let's, let's be yeah. fucking gonna... realistic. No, no, we'll no. Let's we'll be stay realistic. Here. We'll stay here. If they're if they're just kids, we don't want to leave them on their own. If they're not just kids, we don't want to know. We we don't want them to be doing shit without us knowing. Either way, we just fucking bring them with, and then we can. No, we don't bring the kids. I'm not going. We're not. We're not, we're not, we're not I don't want to go into the house. house. We'll stay here in the yard. Exactly. And if the mist touches us, right we'll, we'll 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 hide in we'll hide in the shed. Just we scream or something. Game. No, we'll go tie into the game. We'll say bad hamster and catch you. The the shed actually What's might be you? the shed might be a good idea actually. Yes, go hide in the shed. Okay. And Let's she'll go like she'll like make grab sure they're her brother by the, the arm, and they just yeah they walk towards the shed. Open the door Let and just poof. make sure that they are You're safe and in secure shed. in the shed. Do not look in the shed. Mm -hmm. I just look in the shed. Yeah, just I just there. I signed a kiss. Don't trust those kids. I am as far not as I can throw them. Even their name, the expression "every rose has its thorns." Their I... names imply they are a trap. Like there is I... something dangerous to this beautiful. Bit. No, everything I about this am... is no. Fuck those kids. Let's, they could be bait. Go in the house. I'm not. Having the death of two children on my conscience. You don't know right? what I'm saying. That's just me signing it so, together. I'm saying let's this in general. I can give oh, a fuck. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, let's say that, this, let's say that yeah. this monster comes out the house. Yes. What's to stop it going in the shed? Well, fantastic news. We did our best. I'm not locking them in there in case something else happens. Oh, this is <laughs> like, like some fucking to trolley problem shit. They need the, to, to escape. escape to where? If the mist is fucking bad, because where are they going to run to? If the monster kills them, anywhere. we're not accountable. Yeah, basically. <laughs> But if the mist circles in there and they can get out because they see the mist, they need to have at least an escape. But the, the mist stopped at the gate. Yeah, but it could move more. Anyway, just leave them in there. Steve, how it is. They've gone in there. They seem to follow instructions enough, which is good enough for me at this point. I'm just going to write out on my paper again in, and put the quotes around it. Because quote, every rose has its thorns and rose and thorn underlined. And then just write, trap. Idiot. <laughs> Why is the baby got a stupid name that doesn't match with it? That's what's fucking because every like. fucking fawn has its Walter or something. I don't know. <laughs> I am going to. Every Gustav has its Elizabeth, apparently. I'm going to completely ignore this conversation. I'm going to go inside the fucking house. Is the mist like... all the way around? <laughs> like, like, is there a rear of the property and is the mist covering that at all? Well, the houses are yeah, conjoined, the, right? The, the houses are conjoined. It's like a, so like a row of houses, but the, all it's you like, can see it's that it's fully like it's fully joined on both sides. It's not it's semi. Detached. No, it's fully. No, it's not a semi-detached terrace. That's no, exactly no. what he just said, Koiba. It's not semi-detached. <laughs> it's completely like <laughs> attached by a house on both the left and right side. Okay, well, I'm just gonna fucking walk up to the front door. Is the front door open? Okay. <clears throat> um, a wrought iron gate with hinges on one side and a lock on the other fills the archway of this like stone. Portico? Like, is that? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. The gate is unlocked. Rusty hinges shriek as the gate opens. Um, there's an oil lamp that hangs from the portico ceiling by chains. Um, Don't really care about that. And there's a set of oaken doors uh, that. Do you try to open them? Do I see any traps or like. Make arcane? an investigation check. Shit. Also, Dutch, I literally, if I even see a hint, if the children look like they're going to try and physically touch any one of us or come towards us, like, help to stab them. Don't even care. Just saying. I mean, the kids are still in the shed. <laughs> okay. But if, if I see them, like, say they come back up behind us, like, I don't even care. I'm just... super confident about this. That's an eight. Okay. Not as far as you can tell. No traps. Oh, well, I'm going to try the fucking door. Are okay. the windows boarded up at all? Or? No. This the is the only uh, house on, on the house. No, 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 not boarded up. Like, do they have shutters? Is oh, they okay. have shutters, yeah. And there's also, like, the, the shutters, some of them are damaged. We can see that there's just, like, these curtains that make it so that you can't really look inside. I'm just going to open the fucking door. You open the door. Uh, the open doors push open into uh, what seems like a foyer. Um, hanging on the south wall of the foyer is a shield emblazoned with a coat of arms, which is a stylized uh, golden windmill on a red field. Uh, this shield, uh, or this, this crest, I guess, is flanked by framed portraits of, of stony-faced aristocrats. Um, there's a mahogany-framed set of double doors leading from the foyer into somewhere else, but uh, the doors are shut. Pretty nice house. Uh, these doors are set with panes of stained glass. 
You said the coat really of arms was a golden thing. windmill on a golden red windmill field? on a red field. Yep. Okay. Coat of arms look recognizable. In windmill on a field point. of tulips. Are we in? The the <laughs> uh, you would not recognize this this coat of arms at all. This sh the shield is it kind of loose on the thing? Was it hung up quite? Um. It's it's like it's pretty like attached to the wall. It's pretty like it's 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 made made so that it stays there. Yeah. Like you could probably try and is. fucking get it loose, but it will take a, some effort. It's more. It does it seem like more decorative than like definitely practical? a decorative piece. Yeah. Cool. Did no, I read no. anything about a coat of arms like this in the book? No. Okay. Cool. I will. If anything, Ooh. your best guess would be this is this is like the coat of arms of, of the family that lives here. Like their coat of arms. Kind Are of there thing. any name plates? Let's see if any of the pictures of the people. Um like family portraits rather than like individuals. No, they're they're portraits. They're they're not yeah. they're not like name tagged or anything. There's no like writing under it. It's just they're okay, cool. portraits of people that wow. you could imagine having seen the kids probably related in some way like some similar like facial features like the the, the the blue eyes mainly is something that they all share and the same like darkish skin tone and I black hair cool seems to be a running just... trend a running theme through this family yeah i'll 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 call cool. <clears throat> hello gustav elizabeth hello nothing <sighs> uh, actually one of these days it's going to work I'm gonna sheath my short sword so I just have the dagger mm -hmm. and uh, my necklace in in one hand as we go in. I okay. will start to see if I can find any evidence of where like a basement would be, like a door around. Uh, as you kind of look around this entry hall or the foyer, um, all you see is this like set of double doors leading onwards. There's, there's nothing else here. It's pretty small. Oh, it's like it's like it's a very small like just. Yeah. Entrance hall Entry type way. thing. Like it's not. There's I'll not much go here. See those double doors or unlock them. They are. I will go. I'll kind of look back, see if anyone else is coming with me, and like this sort of like half look back, and I'm just gonna open up the doors and have the. I'm gonna have to keep the drift globe like in front of me with this daylight. It lasts an hour, okay. so let me know when an hour of exploring or whatever's happened. Okay. So I'll leave um, only in the, in the These yard. doors, these double doors with like the with the stained glass panes in it, swing open into a wide hall uh, that runs the width of the house. Uh, a black marble fireplace at one end and a sweeping red uh, marble staircase on the other. Uh, mounted on the wall above the fireplace is a, is a long sword with a uh, windmill cameo worked into the hilt. Uh, the wood paneled walls are ornately sculpted with images of vines, flowers, nymphs, satyrs. Um, yeah, that's what you see. So you see... This this fireplace with the sword above it, uh, some wooden paneling with all kinds of engravings, and a red uh, marble staircase. Mm. I saw my detect magic up. Did I get anything from the shield to all the another sword? I lost ten minutes. Um. No. Nothing. Have to make Let sure. me know if anything does pluck off in the next like eight minutes or so. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do. I will. Do we hear around. anything? Yeah. Once we get into the house. And again, do another. I'll do another call out as well. You know, just there. Uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Gustav. Gustav. Hello. Is Scary. there a, nothing? A visible kitchen anywhere? Uh, as far as you can tell, right now. Um, give me a sec. Boom. As far as you can tell right now, all you see is just this fireplace, this large uh, red spiral, uh, marbling, like marble spiral staircase, and not much else. So it's just but, this spiral staircase. Seems to be it, it's, it's a, like, there's no other doorways to other rooms, is there? It's just the... Mm. It's, Open plan, right? He says like it's plan from width to width. Yeah, no, that's it. So, uh -huh. it's not just me that thinks that having a fucking terraced house next to boarded up houses with a fucking marble staircase is a bit weird. This whole thing is weird. weird. I mean, 
Let's be real, I... all of this is fucked. But we don't need anywhere bitching about it. Are we going up or down, or are we checking both at the same time? Or... We shouldn't check both at the same time. I say we should. We should go down. I think. Up. There's only up. It is only up. Huh? Yeah. I think we should go up, considering there's no option to go down, Brooks. So, so there's no other rooms. There's no. How is there a down. basement? How is there there's a basement? The basement. We it is. should go up to go down. Like I'm gonna start door. looking for any either trap doors, if there's a rug, like look under the rug, look for anything to maybe reveal a hidden basement or hidden access. Can I look to at the basement? fireplace. Make, a, make an investigation check. Can I look at the fireplace if there's anything on this obsidian sort of looking fireplace? Make an investigation check. I rolled a 14. I rolled a 17. Nothing and nothing. Lame. Yeah. That's actually super lame. <laughs> is there is there like a bookshelf with some? <laughs> well, wait, wait. Says... You are investigating the 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 like. What were you investigating, Laura? Sorry. I'm looking for a trapdoor to a basement. Specifically, if there's a rug, look under a rug. If there's any floorboards, oh, okay. or, like where yeah. the floorboards are disrupted or look loose or a different change um, in the pattern, like. You, kind of look around, and as you kind of like investigate the floor. You notice that um, there is some semblance of um, light coming from under a segment of the wall there uh, that seems to just be blocked by this like wood paneling that I described prior. I'm just gonna start like pushing on the panel, look for maybe if yeah, there's the one the that paneling like, just goes swings in open. Or... Basically, it seems hey. the paneling is the door. And then I just and, wave uh, to this, the group and this point. Opens into uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, into another oak panel room. Uh, it looks almost like a hunter's den. There's uh, another fireplace, and above it, there's mounted a stag head. And positioned around the outskirts of the room are three stuffed wolves. Uh, two padded chairs. Oh, one of them's not stuffed. Two padded chairs draped in animal furs face the hearth, with an oak tail between them supporting a cask a cask of wine. Uh, two carved wooden goblets, a pipe rack, a candelabrum, a chandelier hangs above the cloth-covered table, surrounded by four chairs, two cabinets standing against the walls. Um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty big room. A lot of, a lot of stuff. Definitely seems like just like a bunch of immediately and want to hides make, and make sure animals, all the things that look and... like animals are actually dead. Not by going up to them, but like really carefully, just like making sure, like looking for any. Any, any like any blink, any... yeah, blink, breathing, any slight shifts and movements, like are any of these not actually dead? Make a perception check. You said wine, right? There's a cask of wine on the table, yeah. I rolled a sixteen for perception. Right away. As far as you can tell, the different the animals wolves. you see in this room, the wolves and the stag head are all very much actual actually okay. dead. Okay. No, the stag oh. head is still alive. Like the wolves are dead, but the stag head, like the severed head of the stag, that is mounted <laughs> Just the wall. Head. No, 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 no. It, the stag has stood behind the wall, and its the head is poking <laughs> through. And then they have like it's the, gonna be like that one scene in the quarry. The one scene in the quarry, the stag is just gonna start bursting through the wall. Yeah, gross. <laughs> I will. Is it like a stairs down, or is it like a drop down, or wait, what? You said it was like under. It was like you had to move a floor panel, like on the. No, 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 floor, it was just like, right? oh, in the uh, wall. Diagon oh, was looking at the floor oh, and noticed that there was like light coming a from a seam of light. Yeah, oh, it's, it's large, it's large. yeah, oh, yeah, I misheard from the wood paneling. And then when mm. Diagon pushed the wood paneling, yeah, it right. seemed that the wood paneling was also a door. Yeah, okay. so it wasn't okay. like a it wasn't like a malicious hidden door so much as a we're posh, let's have a it's, hidden yeah. door. Have it a fancy seems room. more of like a design choice kind of thing, yeah. Oh. Like this is the um, guy's bachelor room. This is the guy's man cave. Hunting it's literally the man, man cave. cave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is there any sort of like maker's mark or anything on the cask of wine? No. Is it wine or is it a different red liquid? Is it a red liquid? Who says it's red? Liquid? It's a wooden cask. Yeah, it's a red or white it's wine. Oh, yeah. wooden cask. I think he. Oh, sorry. There's no <laughs> mark. There's no mark on the casket at all. No. Uh, on the cask, I should say, not casket. Yeah, not casket. It's yeah. very different. <laughs> Um, I'll put my hand underneath and put a tiny bit into my hand. It is red wine. Is it cheap or expensive red wine? Oh Do you have taste? As long as I can tell clearly it's red wine, then yeah, yeah. fuck it. Why it's not? not blood, it's wine. 
Okay. Is it uh, cheap or is it red wine? No, it's pricey. Fancy. Okay. The Elazarin style wine. A lot of complex notes. I will keep that in my back bucket for later. Should anyone turn out unalived? Like what? <laughs> I'm just picturing Brooks like pouring some from a cask into his hand and then putting it in his back no, pocket. No, no, no. Like, like, like mentally, like, oh, they're or dead. Well, I guess they don't need hmm. this wine. Oh, oh this one's right, quite right, good. Right, I'll just right, put okay. that in my back pocket for later. Like, like pocket yeah. ravioli. Pocket sand. <laughs> well, it's pocket spaghetti. You philistine. Whoa! Some Whoa. of these big words. Relax, dude. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Took about to Google the word Philistine. Because it was no, weird. about a fucking post a gift of pocket ravioli in the freaking dungeon select chat is what I'm about to do. Oh my word, ravioli, ravioli, what's in the Alright, so yeah, right, uh, right before I he will, pulls out some ravioli and eats it. I will, um. Hey, yeah, can we investigate the room? Is it again looking. for like. Um, what would you like to investigate? There's a, a couple of cabinets. Uh, you like, just have an I'll, overall look. I'll look, the, I'll look in the cabinets, actually. That seems more interesting. All right. uh, I'll present here. you with a choice. Also, anything on my detect magic? No. Fuck. I'll present you with a choice. Oh. The east cabinet? Oh. Or the north cabinet? No, no, no. Do they look the same, or do they does one look more fancy than the Design other? Design-wise, they look identical. I'll go for the east Okay. Um, you walk up to the east cabinets, and uh, oh. it does sport a lock. But uh, you know, you've you've seen more more in intricate looking locks been picked before by your party members. So if you really wanted to get into here, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, <clears throat> and look back over my shoulder, and if I see Cass. Give her one of the like, Cass, Cass, mm -hmm. your skills are needed to open up this cabinet. You call them skills. Well, well they're not innate abilities, are they? It's just a skill. <laughs> I could learn to do it if I wanted to. Sure. <laughs> I, I believe you. Mm. I'm going to pick it. <laughs> okay. Uh, make me a check with your uh, thieves tools. So D20 no, plus dex go. plus proficiency. <clears throat> Didn't even bring a real dice. Shaking my head. What a, what a fake nerd, dude. What a faker. What a faker daker. Oh my god, Ethan, that... That picture you posted, the gif. Now I just want to watch that movie. I love that movie so much. Of course you do. It's a vampire. Uh, 23. It's such a good vampire movie. 23? Yeah, with ease. Yeah. Pick the lock, and that is yet another lock bested by Kess. I'll open up my ghost. She's Kess, and I'll open up the cabinet. As you open it up, uh, you notice that you see that this cabinet holds... A heavy crossbow, a light crossbow, and a hand crossbow, and 20 bolts for each variety of crossbow. Oh. I will. Hmm. <laughs> and they all just seem like normal crossbows, yeah? Nothing? No, they seem very, very basic. Well kept, well taken care of, but very just normal. Okay, I will. I will kind of flag over to Davian and be like, Davian. Yeah. What? Is, um, we found. Uh, we found some crossbows. Do they seem like in good nick to you? I'm not. I'm not much of a crossbow man. I'll, I'll, I'll have a little look. See, You're I more guess. of a crossbow man than I am. Yeah. So there's uh because you were away, Duke. There, uh, one of the cabinets Ooh. has a heavy crossbow, a light crossbow, and a hand crossbow, and twenty bolts for each. So basically, every variety of crossbow is there, and also twenty bolts for each each type. I might be able to sell them. I mean, we've got room in the bag to hold him, but... I mean, I don't know if they're expensive. I mean, the big one probably might be right. Yeah, I mean... It's pretty precise engineering goes into making a good crossbow, and these look all right. I don't see why not. And Jack, you have room in that bag. <laughs> well, we got rid of the Whoa. chest, so... Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Cobra. Or, uh, uh, Ethan. Yeah, now there's no chest in there. There's room in the bag. 
Okay, how about like, well, do you want to put these in? Can you repeat the list for me so I can message it to Soko? Heavy, light, light crossbow, regular. hand, crossbow, heavy. Oh, light side, light hand. And 20 bolts for each if you want to bring those as well. So, so one heavy, one oh. light, one hand one crossbow? Hand. Yes. yes. Yeah. And that seems to be really all that is in there. So far, by the way. Sorry? Uh, hate what? I hate this family already. <laughs> just from this I'm room. so ready for these yeah. kids to die, dude. Like, you don't. Oh my god. I, I honestly, same. <laughs> What the fuck, I am, dude? I am you, said that, you said there was a. You said there was another another cupboard. Another cabinet, yeah. Yes, on the north wall. Uh, while they're looking at that one, I'm gonna go over to that one. Yeah, this one is unlocked. Uh, do you open it? Sure. Uh, this cabinet, all it contains is a uh, is a small box, and inside this box is a deck of playing cards, and uh, there's also an assortment of wine glasses in this cabinet. Okay, the playing cards are in a box. Yeah, it's like a little box, yeah. Okay. Um, I happen to be quite proficient with playing cards. Mm -hmm. I just very quickly just like fan them out and tell if there's anything. Like, is it a ma Is it just a standard basic deck? Is it a max it's just, deck? It's just a standard deck of playing cards. There's no like fucking like creepy drawings or anything. No. Nobody's taken someone else's deck of cards from their pocket and drawn themselves on one of the cards and then put nope, it back. It is a completely <laughs> normal set of cards. Oh, the werewolf cards. tens. Question. And swear. If I I go around now, still not touching them, but looking at all these taxidermied wolf heads. That's the Do word, any of them have yellow eyes that look like the ones in the dream Cass and I shared? They seem like just normal wolf eyes to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very much what you get from the, the vibe you get from the room, especially okay. now that you know there's like a cabinet with a bunch of crossbows. It's that probably the father of the family is what you assume. It's probably just likes to hunt in his spare time. And I likes trust to nothing. I'm now going to check the rest of the room, like get mm -hmm. looking under the fucking rugs and shit and maybe look around the taxidermy stuff. Any trap doors, switches. Make an investigation check. God damn, I just want to know. I want to... Oh, fucking amazing. Cool. Six. As far as you can tell, <laughs> nothing. Woo. Well, there doesn't seem anything here. I suppose we should head upstairs, but where's the fucking basement? <laughs> we haven't heard anything since we came in. Uh, the yeah, monster's no baby's alive. Crying. There's no fucking baby. There's no monster. There's no basement. And um, I... the walls are going to start closing in, or the room's yep. going to fill with fucking gas or something, and we're all going to die. Oh, fantastic. I, I signed a Kess. I mean, given this room had a secret entrance, could this not be a good place to just hole up until morning? Why are you I don't, I, the morning? We don't even win the morning. Oh, oh, sorry, I can't understand. Yeah. You. Fuck, every time. Can't understand you. I don't think either. I don't think the party will go along with that for the most part, or that we'll be allowed to do that at this point, considering that he seems adamant we get to the actual castle. Or at least die in this house. I don't care whichever one he wants Why to happen. Why would he have just teleported us to the castle? This bitch can teleport us in our sleep. Fucking cryptic, complicated douchebag. I hate being I'm teleported just... without my- Same. Ah. Anyway, back to exploring. Back to reality. Well, or... <laughs> Yes, we're going upstairs. I go, I go, I go. Did someone check like the floor of this room and the walls I and everything did. the same as the last one? Uh, I did. Okay. It's in a row of six. Yep. So I did a really good check. I'm proud of you, man. Do, 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 do. I just did the the classic like sort of man looking where you go, yep, nothing here, yep, nothing here, <laughs> nope, cool, nothing, cool, cool, cool. all good. Mm -hmm. Like stand in the center of a room, like yeah, literally the done, all good. Yep. <laughs> I don't oh, see yeah. any. Yeah, I'm pretty shit. Oh, it's good to me. <laughs> no, and I'll I'll. Yeah, let's uh, let's head upstairs. I suppose. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that drift globe. It's still just always floating, kind of just ahead of me, so it, like it illuminates out. Okay. Because it is a, the fucking power of the sun, and it's kind of hard for us to look at mm. a little bit. It's like fucking... yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Okay, so you going upstairs? Yar. Yes. So. Yep. Yeah. You take the marble staircase up. <laughs> and spirals. Yeah. You know what? Um, I'm not gonna check for traps. You get to an upper hall. Uh, unlit oil lamps are mounted on the walls of this elegant-looking hall. Not on lip for long. <laughs> oh, hanging above Wait, the mantelpiece. No. Daylight. <laughs> hanging above the mantelpiece is a wood frame portrait of uh, a family. 
Uh, you can see the two children that you met outside on the portraits, uh, and behind them, what you assume is uh, mom and dad. Um, but no baby. Cradled in the father's arm is a oh, swaddled no. baby. Oh, <laughs> Damn it. Can I take the painting off the wall? But now, it also, wait. <laughs> you kind of, as you look at it, you can see that the mother is looking at the baby, and you can. There's a hint of scorn. Terrible. There's a hint of scorn yeah! in your look. It's because it's called fucking Walter. <laughs> Not a um, child. It's because the baby suits, is evil. Standing suits of armor Walter, flank. What are we going to do with this baby? Oh my god. <laughs> Let me describe the room. No. <laughs> standing suits of armor flank uh, wooden doors in the east and west walls. Each suit of armor clutches a spear and has a visored helm shaped like a wolf's head. Uh, the doors are carved with uh, dancing youths, although... Um, Uh, no, nothing, never mind. Dancing youths. Um, the Red Marble Staircase that started on the first floor continues upward more to another floor above you, where you could get off here. There's, besides the, the, the doors that have the uh, suits of armor uh, standing next to it, there's also a door directly next to the, um, the staircase. That is also there. That's a single door, and the doors that have the armor beside them on either side are double doors. Do we? I kind of look by group. Do we go quickly up to the top? I want to take the next control. floor. Look for the baby and come back down. When Elazarin says baby, I point at the picture and the mom and the baby back and forth. Yes, I great. See, Probably not hers. I want to see this baby because that mom looks real mad at it. And I want to take. Can I take the painting off the wall? Yeah. Okay. Anything behind it? No. I throw the painting off the top of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus. We don't know. There's not enough. There's not enough. Get rid of it. Not enough fucking room to just hit fucking bricks in the face. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm right. gonna go. I'm gonna start going up to the next floor straight away and be like, we need to find this. Go up more. Child. Yeah, go up. Try and find ah, the baby. Fucking, I hate this. I hate everything about this. You can Same. hate as much as you like. Same. It's not going to change the situation we're in, okay? Let's just get on. <laughs> That's what I mean, you know? Oh, okay. I hate it as much as anyone, but I am. Um, okay. I'm, not, I'm not happy. When you're kind of uh, away again from just going. <laughs> continue climbing the red marble staircase to its full height. You come to yep. a, a dusty looking uh, hallway with a suit of black plate armor standing against one wall, That's draped in cobwebs. Uh, there's oil lamps mounted on the oak paneled walls, uh, which are carved with woodland woodland scenes of trees, falling leaves, tiny critters. Uh, there's also... Quickly, fucking grab my map of this place. Uh, a set of double doors towards the, the right. Uh, there's a, a, a bunch of doors. There's like at least... There's three singular doors and one set of double doors that seem to lead in all kinds of rooms. I from any of the suits of armor pick up any sort of magical traces oh yeah oh yeah yep. that sort of armor do be magical oh that yeah. one that's a bit of... did i get any from the ones that are down below us no but that's that armor too... in this in this area is is magical yes so that suit of armor there super magical by the way just can i hit it with eldritch blast and see if anything happens Don't sorry without it could be really good what are you gonna do no, I said this out loud. Oh, I thought you were. Hit it with like... Eldritch Blast. Oh, yes. to the party. Oh, oh. No, 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 please. No, 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 no. We could. Why? S because sometimes if it's like really rare, we could sell it. What if they really damage to it? Kill us? <laughs> then we get to kill some magic armor in a sec, but don't damage it if we know. You can throw, I just throw something at it instead. I just signed throw... a guess. You should do it. Just throw something at it. it. Roll, uh, roll, roll to hit. Ah, uh, guess why? <laughs> Sorry, last one, but your reasoning was stupid. Yes, yeah, it was! Stupid. It but was! Don't but... so worry about this moment. You're worried about making sure we can sell the scary armor in the weird place we've been teleported to. We're being herded against our will. There's apparently an evil baby. There's weird children. And you're but like, no, no, baby. We don't know we the make sure we sell evil the baby. Evil baby. The, the, the mom just hate it. There. Yeah. <laughs> the mom could just not like the child because of like, it might not be hers. It might just be adopted. Are we about to have a D&D? What, uh, what did you roll, Belle? To hit. Uh, I rolled a... 
a lot. Um, 23. That hits, roll damage. And please give me the damage types separately. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Just be resistant. It could be. It's a magical armor, okay? Before anything happens, I still have Vigilant Blessing, right? Yes. It lasts forever. Until I cast again, someone else. It lasts until a last one dies. Nope. The baby's definitely evil, right? Like, no. 100%. No. 100%. Oh, yeah. I can't have the baby to be the one good person here. The, the rest of me. <laughs> How can a baby be a good person? They don't have. It could be holy. I'm gonna be evil! Practically. <laughs> I can be evil! If it can't be good, it means it can't be evil. But babies, <laughs> like, it could be possessed <laughs> or something, and no babies good spirit inherent, is gonna possess a baby, you know? Babies' inherent alignment is evil, let's be honest. Think about it. Uh, okay. okay, why I don't we just it. wait and see hold what on, the baby's on. like? Well? <laughs> I got, uh, so that's 12 on the first one. But damage force types? Damage? Is that force damage? Uh, force damage. Okay. You get any? Because you typically have like several damage types, right? Yeah, and then three thunder. Three thunder. Okay. And then the second beam is fourteen. Four, okay, fourteen force, force damage. damage. Yeah. Okay. You have to roll to hit with that one as well. Oh, true. You have to roll to hit twice, right? For Eldritch Blast. Oh yeah. yeah. So do that that first. Yeah. Digital dice. When did you just use D and D Beyond? I rolled a, yeah, twenty-two. Yeah. Oh, okay. 22. Yeah, that hits. 22. So fourteen damage. Okay, beautiful. Um, as you do this, the armor just <laughs> starts walking into the room. I would oh, like no, guess. Yeah. I would like to guess a roll initiative. Cool. I was right. Oh, now we know. Just because you were right doesn't mean it's less stupid. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, that's a fucking waste of a good roll. Congratulations, Kesh, you figured out how we're going to die. <laughs> um, my breaks, Mr. It. Dice. That's the, that's the calculations going through the brain, that beeping sound. Okay. It's <laughs> like fucking Bell's dial-up connection. Yeah, that's that's wild. <laughs> yeah. It's Bell's brain trying to figure out All what right. number she's going to make up. And it's 20 roll. plus, please. <laughs> Me. I got 23. 23, hold I on, let me set the fucking move to some battle Wait. music. Anyone else 20 plus? 22, I baby. Dragon, 22 for Brooks. Dude, you have advantage in plus 8, dude. Yeah, I, roll, I, roll the, I roll the 3 and an 8. Yes. So. Oh my god. I go 15 before you. to 20? 18. 16. Okay. You go last, dude. You have advantage. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, Jax, Jax will go last. That's oh, true. oh shit, I need to roll for Jax. Oh. Jax will have rolled a negative one and everything. Oh my god, in for Jax was a natural 20. Uh, no, Jax no goo. Jax no is goo. a seven. Seven? Okay. In that case, oh Laura is AFK. I'm here, I'm here, I'm sorry. Dagon gets to go first as his like, yeah, yeah, black yeah. suit of armor just has come to life uh, as a response to Kessa's Elder's uh, Blast and has this like long spear in hand. Okay. Uh, I am going to. How far away from us is it? Like down this hallway? Oh, it's or there. It's or... right there. It was like in the center of it's the hallway. Right there? It's just like it's there. It's like ten feet away from you, if that. Cool. Then I'm gonna uh spend a key point to pop out my arms of astral self. Okay. And I'm gonna go up and start just wailing like punch on it. I'm trying to like dislodge pieces of the armor with my punch. I almost okay. like trying to dismantle it. Yeah. Roll your, roll your attacks. So, first attack is uh, 23 to hit. Hits. And the second attack would be a 19 to hit. Both hit. Okie dokie. Um, so, <laughs> the... Oh, I roll mi minimum damage on one dice and maximum on the other. Nice. So, it's a total of 5 plus... 11. 16 points of force damage from the two punches. 16, okay. Did I dislodge any pieces of the armor? You do. Like, an arm yeah. flies away, but it just kind of floats back. Ah. Well, I'm gonna keep going, because I'm gonna... Am I, actually? You know what? Mm. Oh, yeah? Mm. 
I'm definitely not gonna stunning strike it because I don't think I feel like Daigon would not think this thing would have any key that I can manipulate because it's like a construct or something. It's like a not a man-made magically thing. Yeah, it seems I'm trying to like decide. Just, you're just you're, you're fighting. Yeah, maybe it's just I, magic to not life see. armor. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think I want to. Have you fought animated armor before in this campaign? I forget. I don't know. Mm, nope. I think nope. I have. Okay. But it's more just like what my mentor would have taught me, like how my monk abilities work yeah, sure. and manipulating life force of other things. I was just trying to, think, was trying to remember if you could have like, have like a past experience with something yeah, like this yeah, yeah, yeah. to draw from. Um, I don't think so. I think I am going to just do a regular, the monk bonus action where I get one extra hit. I'm going to save my Go key points because I'm scared of much bigger things to come. Uh, That is a dirty 20. It's... Uh, and these are all with the spectral arms, because I'm just, I don't know, I feel like Daiga thinks this magical astral force damage might be more effective. Hold another minimum damage. Another five points, of, five points of force damage. Okie dokie. Is that your turn? Yes. Brooks. Okay. I'm going to run up to it, of course. Yeah. It's what I do. Hmm. I don't... Nah. Part of me doesn't want to rage. But it's like, do I want to be one rage down or do I want to take a shit ton of HP damage if he does start attacking me? I mean, I'm right there too. So there's 50-50, even if no one else approaches. 50-50 shot whether I'm he comes from me or you. I'm to do something that makes me attack it, so. Go on, lad. Yeah, I'm going to bonus action rage. I'm going to get real fucking angry. I'm going to try and grapple this animated armor. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. I mean, it's a creature, right? Like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Technically. So. I'm I have natural one, on, natural, one on this, uh, natural one for the armor. So you. Yeah. You okay. Grapple well, it. I have a plus 10. So. You grapple it. Okay. Cool. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, Cass? It's your turn. Uh, I'm going to hex it. Hex, all right. Uh, and give it disadvantage with the constitution? Why not? Sure. And then hit it with Eldritch Blast a couple times. Yeah, roll for your first Eldritch, first Eldritch Blast. started blasting. <laughs> Excuse me. First one is twenty. Yes. Cents? Yes. Yeah. And Bell is playing one. from like the Matrix, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a uh, dirty twenty. Both you hit. Must to me, Neo. Both hit. Okay. Yes. So is it just force and thunder damage that you do? Uh, it is, and then necrotic as well. Oh, so okay. Okay. So both hits. Roll damage. Okay. First damage is... Uh, 13. 13, okay. Plus 3 thunder. All right. And the second one is eight. So eight, you said? Yeah. So as Brooke says, like this, this suit of armor grappled. You just eldritch blasted twice, just in like the the in the, in the chest piece, and with a loud bang, the arm pieces of the armor start flying through the hallway. The helmet just flies off and just on on the floor. The leg plates just shatter and the the chest piece is still like clutched by Brooks. But it seems that any form of life, if you can call it that, that wasn't it prior is now definitely gone. Oh hell yeah! Nice. Oh, hold on. Well, that was easy. I did I'm it. I'm still enraged, so I'm just gonna run forwards. Use it to break down the door. Uh, which one? Yeah. Yeah. The double doors or one of the three single doors? Oh no, the double doors. I'm gonna crash it through those doubles, baby. Okay. I gotta. 
If they're locked, they soon won't be. I can't wait. So you're going for the double doors? Yep. I'm not even going to try and open them. I'm just going to kick through them. <laughs> you're going for the shoulder, surely. Nope. Okay. Uh, the double doors to this room have dusty panes of stained glass set into them, uh, which you fucking shatter as you just... <laughs> um, so the ones, nice designs of, of, of glass-resembled uh, windmills shatter. It's a Dutch house. As you open the doors into a dusty cobweb-filled master bedroom that has burgundy drapes covering the windows, furnishings include a four-poster bed uh, with embroidered curtains and tattered gossamer veils, a matching pair of empty wardrobes, a vanity with wood-framed mirror and jewelry box, uh, a padded chair, a rotting tiger skin rug lies on the floor in front of the fireplace, which has a dust-covered portrait of um, the adult man and woman that you also saw on the painting uh, in the hallway that, that Davian chucked down the stairs. Um, there's also a web-filled parlor in the southwest corner, which contains a table, two chairs, um, resting on dusty tablecloth as an empty porcelain bowl and a matching jug. Um... A door facing the foot of the bed has a full-length mirror mounted on it. Yeah. A There's door a facing the foot of the bed? Yeah. I guess like a walking closet type situation? Perhaps. Or an en suite? Can if that's the only of the... Has everyone else followed me up? Mm. Of course. I yeah. want to stay yeah. in the hallway and look for the door the, of the single doors, which one looks most likely to be the nursery, if possible. The, your guess would be as good as next. All three doors are pretty much identical. I'm going to, like, peek in each door. Like, just, like, a couple of inches so I can see what's inside and then close them until I find the nursery. Okay. Oh, boy. Um... Uh, <laughs> The first trap, door, trap. the first door uh, you peek into, Kess. Yeah. Is let me quickly double check to make sure that I have it. Yeah. Seems to be a bathroom, uh, dark yeah. room, with a wooden tub with clawed feet and uh, a small iron stove with a kettle resting atop of it. Um, a barrel under a spigot in the east wall. A cistern on the roof used to collect rainwater, which then brought down a pipe uh, to the spigot. Uh, bathroom cool so while you're looking at that what's happening in the uh what seems to be the master bedroom i mean i've got the drift club in there mm -hmm. let's make it look all big old bright davian i think davian's going for the other door yeah okay. which means i don't particularly care about it so i'm going back in the hallway <laughs> uh, as you Stick open that davian. door davian uh Gosh. it reveals an empty dust choked closet uh so yeah it wasn't in, 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 in empty the, like it's empty empty yeah. Is this the Is guest anything room? on the dresser with the jewelry box and all that shit? Sorry, what do you want to do? On the you said there was like a dresser and like a jewelry box. Uh, yes. Anything in there? Uh, the jewelry box itself uh, on the vanity is made of silver with gold filigree, so definitely the box itself, definitely valuable. Uh, and in it are three gold rings, and a thin platinum necklace with a topaz uh, pendant. Any magic coming from any of that shit? No. Or is that is that now gone? No, no magic, but definitely, uh, definitely gold. <laughs> oh god! For the sake, <laughs> of, your in for the sake of your in jewelry. inventory, you mean the the jewelry man gets jewelry? <laughs> for the sake of your inventory, uh, Koiba? Yep. The box itself worth about seventy five gold pieces. Uh, the three gold rings are roughly twenty five gold each. But the necklace, the, the, the necklace? thin platinum necklace with the topaz pendant. You know, you're a, you're a, actually, let's make this a check. I'm a, okay. you're, a, you're a jeweler, jeweler's son. You've experience. Okay. You're a jeweler. Yeah. I want you to make an investigation check or a... Yo, can I get like... And I'll give you advantage bondage? because this is like what you do. My jam. Mm -hmm. Cool. Investigation? Yes. 18. 18? You reckon that this 
due to the craftsmanship and the materials and the size of the topaz that this necklace, including the pendant, could fetch anywhere between five and six hundred gold. This is a, it's an expensive, expensive necklace. Oh boy! So that goes to the like very bottom of my bag, <laughs> like tucked under the book, like safest pocket that like <laughs> I know I have. Okay. <laughs> that like no one else will be able to notice. The rings, I'm actually gonna start taking off some of the rings that I have and then putting those rings. See, like, do those rings like fit mine hand at all, or are they like? Um, you're, you're, I'd say you're pretty average. You're pretty average built. Yeah, uh, man, right? Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll fit. Like... Might be a little. Yes, and then maybe maybe a little loose, but. Oh well, that's fine. If it's if it's loose, then yeah, I'll put those on. and I put like my normal rings on top of them, so I've kind of got like <laughs> two rings now. Sure, two, three. sure, man. Okay. Right. <clears throat> um, Your boy like you, to be dazzled. In the meantime, Kess, you're gonna be checking the next door, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, this door seems to be a storage room. There's dusty shelves that line the walls of this room. A few of the shelves have some folded sheets, blankets, uh, and old bars of soap on them. Um, but also. <laughs> um, as you open the door this animated broom comes just flying oh out and just like attempts to just whack you on the head oh my that God. is a 18, 18 to hit yeah imagine getting twatted by a broom <laughs> hold on a broom of animated attack as it's called um, so it hits you with an 18 like a villager in Beauty and the Beast when they stormed the castle, just gonna whack around by brooms and uh, shit. Straight up. You take yeah, five guess. points, yeah, five points guess. of bludgeoning damage as his broom just fucking <laughs> on top of your what head. Was it? Five points of bludgeoning damage I... as you get just twatted on the head with his broom or by this broom. I came back into the hallway. Do I see this? Yeah, you just see you walk into the hallway <laughs> just to see Kess like opening the door in the storage area and this broom just like flying out and just <laughs> twatting her on the head. <laughs> is the broom like still like? animated after that or is yeah, it like no, a yeah, it is. It is. it's like floating around yeah. Imme immediately oh. after can i eldritch blast it sure i'm <laughs> running at that broom yeah it'll, uh, roll an attack uh bell okay <laughs> okay <laughs> what is one uh 17 uh that hits yes Yay! And then, oh my god, I hate, I hate, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it. Oh. Uh, twelve damage. Twelve damage. Yeah, you. Elders blast the broom in response, and you blast it with so much force and energy. That the it just snaps in half and just clink 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 to the floor. Yeah, you got attacked. You got attacked by a magic broom. What the fuck was that? You ran out of the broom. You got attacked by a fucking broom. You ran at the broom, thinking I couldn't handle the broom. I ran over. <laughs> to make sure that you weren't going to get twatted by anything else. Twatted? <laughs> How? I don't know if there was going to be a You know what? No, it's fine. You can look after yourself. I'll leave you to it next time. At this point, when you hear some commotion coming from the main hall, do you guys all kind of... Yeah. Or do yeah. you still want to do some exploring in the, main, in the master suite? Oh, it's fucking empty, box. dude. Put the silver box in the bag. Why would the closet and... be empty? You said this like... is the master bedroom. Why would the closet be empty? Okay, Minus. make an intelligence check. Thirteen. Okay. You went through the room. Clothing, all the closets empty. The there's cobwebs everywhere. Most of the valuables, except for a couple of rings and something, just taken. It seems to you, to your best guess, that the parents did the old. Either they got taken or did the old itchy room. But if it's dusty, then it would have been a while ago, right? And if they got taken, then why would they take their clothes? So they got, they left. I'll leave that up to your uh, imagination. And they left the kids, 
because the kids are evil and the baby's evil and we should yep. leave. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Confirmed. Confirmed. Right. We'll leave. Right. <laughs> we leave him. Why are we leaving? What's going on? We still have so much to explore here. I want to Parents are gone. Door. Parents are left. Holding. Of their own volition. What are you doing? Parents uh, left. Bell? I want to check the final door. The final door um, opens up in a large room. Watch dust out for brooms. Dust and cobwebs shroud an elegantly appointed bedroom uh, and an adjoining nursery. Double doors set with panes of stained glass pull open to reveal mm -hmm. a little balcony overlooking the front of the house. The bedroom uh, itself contains a large bed, two end tables, an empty wardrobe. Mounted on the wall uh, next to the wardrobe is a full-length mirror with an ornate wooden frame carved to look like ivy and berries. Uh, the nursery also contains a crib covered with a hanging black shroud. Um, and that is all you see at first glance. Um, Black the crib! Do it! I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna touch the shroud, I'm gonna lift it with a knife. Sorry? I'm gonna lift the shroud up with a knife, so I'm not even touching it. I'm okay. behind Cass, by the way. As you look in. through the shroud, uh, you see a tightly wrapped baby-sized bundle lying in the crib. Just silent? Where's the baby? You say baby size, like we can't yeah. see the baby face? It's a baby size bundle. It's just fabric? Tightly wrapped. We're not over there yet. It's suffocated! They smothered it! <laughs> I'm with Kess. I'm, I'm behind her. We were waiting <laughs> to see that. Maybe we have the commission. We started faking away. At I've it. never fucking in my life known a baby be quiet. Fuck that. That's fucking bad vibes. Really bad happened? juju. I think it is like it... a weird burial? But the not buried. Did you I... say is the veil was the veil round it black? Yes. yes. Does it look like it's been a sort of like ceremonially funeral done shroud. this? Like fu does it look like mm, funeral? No, it just seems like a tightly wrapped bundle the size will, of a baby. I will I, just... I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna Please. tap Kess and sign <clears throat> As you pick it trap. up, it there's feels, no baby in it there. It feels it feels very light. Yeah, it's a trap. It's not a baby. It's not a baby. Then I will like I'm backing away. <laughs> back then it up. I'll back do. It up the hole. Then I will like try and like open it up and see. I'm uncomfortable no! right now. As you, no, no, I'm, um, okay. I'm, going the, I'm going for the door. Oh, uh, as you. We're leaving Alexis alone. Hold, hold on, hold on, calm down. Um, we're not called war. As you pick it, pick it. Do you I've pick got it up? My daylight, my daylight is right next That's to it. That's fine. As well, my obviously. Uh, yeah, as you pick it up, a specter appears in the room. Resembling oh, a terrified, skeletally thin young woman. Uh. And it just starts screaming. Oh, good. Oh, and you. attacks you, Elazarin. Oh, ah. This is what you get for being like, we need to save uh, the baby. It's totally an innocent baby. We need to help it. It's a 17 to hit. Fuck it, just hits. There you go. So it's. Is going to use its life drain on you. Does oh, it oh my fucking clock! My clock! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Do I roll disadvantage? Is that what that means? No, it's disadvantage. If it's a physical attack, yeah, if it's attack, I'll roll against you. Uh, 16. Hashtag you're welcome. It's my AC. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Didn't make a difference, it's fine. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, to... Weird. Jax is going to use Every so bugs. Oh, fucking roll again, cunt. 19. <laughs> Yeah, it's still gonna hit. Yeah, but now can you give us one of the thing? <laughs> can you buff someone now? Yeah, yeah. Um, someone. Okay. Gonna give, gonna give a Lazarin advantage on his Thank next you. attack roll ability check or something. Uh, you you take it? 13 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> and I need you to make a constitution save. With, oh, with advantage, Paul! Well, well, well at least you have advantage. It's shit, but at least you have advantage. Yeah. Sorry, guys, someone's ringing me on Skype. Mm. What's that? 11. 11? Uh, the damage that you just took, so 13, is also reduced from your maximum hit points. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you know that, the, cleric, the healer man can't heal that back? Oh, I know. Thanks. I'm just going to... I'm just going to have that noted down as my new HP, because I can't be fucked to change on DMP bond. That's fair. Cool. That's fair. Um, that's great. Uh, if you want, I'll give you a, a chance to, to, to... Oh, an action? Yeah. Oh, the fucking dome is straight out. 
I'll, I'll give you like a full turn to kind of. Oh. Thing is, I don't really want to go through with your hassle of like initiative, everybody rolling, because it's not it's just not that deep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get full turn of shit. Yeah. Then hmm. as a response. Now you said that that kind of changes what I want to fucking do. That's fine. A little bit. Oh, Nine. actually. Lies. You got the daylight out, right? I just Wait, out, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I already rolled this advantage. It doesn't matter. Never mind. Fuck. So that's disadvantage against me, anyway. Yeah, so when daylight. it's sunlight sensitivity. So is it daylight count as sunlight, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So she would have had disadvantage regardless of your cloak, but you know, it's still, you know, that. Well, been, the that one time you remembered the cloak and it was irrelevant. <laughs> In, yeah, literally. The one yeah, time I remember the cloak was fucking he irrelevant. He didn't remember. Yeah. He yeah. was told to I was remember. Told. I was told. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Motherfucker. <laughs> didn't earn it anyway. <laughs> exactly. I will. Fuck it. Instead, I will just. Oh, no. Whoa! Hold on. <laughs> Whoa. Don't do that. Whoa. No, I will cast. I will cast moonbeam on it. Okay. <laughs> Is that a saving throw? Uh, that is uh, well on its next turn because technically it doesn't actually. Have, I checked and it doesn't actually affect it on when it first casts. It'd be on its turn. At the start of its turn, if it's yeah. in the moonlight. Blah, blah, blah. In the moonbeam. Okay. But you said it's not a turn thing, but it's still just there. If it's a shape changer. <laughs> it's not a shape changer. We'll yeah. say that you end your turn and the being has to take damage because like it's really. I don't really want to get into. A fucking it's initiative like, order for this. It takes yeah, it has to do a constitution saving throw. Con a nine. Yeah, it fails. So it takes a fuck ton of damage. Well, it takes it anyway. Two D ten. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> fucking hell. What? Nothing. Just, just fucking held for the sake of it. Four. <laughs> Four? Okay. Nice. Ones. Four points of damage, huh? Every little it's health. five health on it. What a prick. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, mine. Just fucking roll initiative then, dude. Holy fucking shit. Are you kidding me? You fucking What's kidding happened? me? Roll initiative. Health roll initiative, initiative for a thing with 10 HP because Koiba couldn't kill it in one turn. Roll initiative. <laughs> Natural 20. That gives me 28. Can I just kill it? Yeah, fucking go for it. Uh, <laughs> What? I literally got a natural 20, so if Duke, if Davian doesn't finish it, then I'll go. finish it. There you go. But Wait, is, not that, just... is that, by any chance, no. two natural 20s? Stop. I hate this Eldritch bit. Blast. <laughs> go for it. Roll an attack. Uh, 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 How many does uh, you have? Uh, an 18 to hit. That hits. Yay. Can you do less I than five seen... points of damage? How many of these do I have, Koiba? I did do less than five points of damage, but the second Eldritch Blast is coming. Okay. I did four okay. points. Four points of damage. Second one's coming, though. All right. Uh, and that's Easy. a 20-something to hit. So it's it! Let's yeah. go! Oh, my God. Obliterates Did you... this, this specter. Uh, and as it... Um, as it kind of, like, dissipates, you... Hold on, I got, like, a million fucking documents open, dude. Are we getting a whoopee cushion for the nat ones? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that it's you have one uh, of these for a nat one. There's like jelly-like substance. It, it got left behind, and it, in it is a note Ectoplasm. sticking out. Ectoplasm. Is a what? Like a like a, a, crum like a, like a rolled up, oh, crumbled up note. Right there, so I'm gonna fucking read this note. This ghost yeah. had no pockets. Where did it keep the note? It's ghost it's hole. Ectoplasm. <laughs> it's gussy. Are you are you picking up, do you pick up the notes, Elijah? Yeah. Okay. Note. I'll give it a little. Give it a little uh, you can read. see that uh, on one side of the note, there's this crest of this large raven, a bunch yep, of fancy, um, a fancy backdrop, a large castle up top, a bunch of like wood vines and thorns, mm -hmm. very elaborate, very intricate. Yeah. And the note itself reads. my most pathetic servant, comma. I am not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to lead you on a path of immortality. However many souls that have been bled on your hidden altar, however many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon, know that you are not the ones who brought me to this beautiful land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are oh. cursed, your fortune spent... You abandoned love for madness, took solace in the bosom of another woman, and sired a stillborn son, cursed by darkness, 
Of that I have no doubt. Save Evil baby! Save you from your wretchedness? I think not. I much prefer you as you are. Your dread lord and master, Strahd von Zerovich. Does the name Strahd von, von Zerovich. Zerovich mean fucking anything to me? No. Cool. It does, because you made it see the initials SVZ, yeah, which you, we you talked about initials, at length. Like, but like, not yeah, the name of the Yeah, but I meant like Google. past. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, cool. Oh, well, I guess we know who this is. Uh, you so, also get the sense that this note definitely wasn't yep. directed at. Because the person, this ghost, like, had like servant's clothing on. Yeah. And this definitely wasn't directed to the servant that had the note, but it was definitely directed the towards. Had the note. Yeah. So what, this this baby was a According stillborn? According to the notes, the baby was, born, was stillborn. Everyone who had an evil baby on the bingo cards? And I did. And someone... That, so the baby Wait, so, was so, stillborn, so, 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 and they then got paintings of them holding the... Oh, that's fucking weird. Well, well because it it's like, like a so wait, evil it, baby. Was it like a wife of Strahd that cheated on him, and then that's why the baby was stillborn? There's no. something about... I, yeah. I, I was confused. Isn't that, isn't that what she said? No. Yeah, I swear there's something about, like, no. that's no. why it was stillborn. It was like... No. It was different. It was family. This was I'm sure we towards... can all ask such to post the whole thing. Let me, okay, yeah. let me... Yes, please. I am Later, not a messiah sent right to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to lead you on a path of immortality. However many souls you have bled on your hidden altar, however many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon, know that you are not the ones who brought me to this... the ones who brought me to this beautiful land. Right. You are but worms in writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent, you abandoned love for madness, took solace in the bosom of another woman and sired, by a and sired a stillborn son. Cursed by darkness, of that I have no doubt, save you from your wretchedness, I think not, I must prefer you as you are. Hold on, uh, took solace in I the bosom it. of another woman it. and sired a stillborn son sounds like someone was... So it sounds like this guy who is into some dark shit, he's into some dark shit, and he thinks he thought he was responsible for bringing yeah, Strahd like to this land. And Strahd's like, bitch, you are not important enough. Yeah. But FYI, the reason you had a stillborn son is because you're a cheating fucker. But uh, just so you know, I'm better than you. I'm more than you. I'm here for my own reason. You are nothing. And enjoy your miserable little that life. That is indeed that's, more along that's the, the lines of what the in intonation okay. is. Yes. <laughs> I got it. I got it. You're I was fat. confused for a minute. <laughs> so basically, you're a moron and for what, lol? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like the mentioning of, you know, torture and sacrificial things. The family's in, into bad altar, shit. Yeah. That is something that also strikes your attention. Like, oh, well, you haven't seen that part of the house yet. <laughs> well, they so, killed all the neighbors, these though. Kids, these kids are part of evil family. No, whole what? family evil, not just baby. Whole How family. Tarnish them all with a. You said that. The letter does. The letter says you are like they tortured people. They sacrificed people. That's because your parents tortured people. That means you torture people, bro. I mean, I don't want to get these kids to be evil. You know, Laura just wants these kids to be evil. They house to rescue a dead baby. They know there were things that happened. And they called Rose and Thorn. Okay, what the hell? Parents have never said this baby was stillborn, and the children believe it because they've been like warped or some shit. Because they're evil. Just kids until proven otherwise. I just want to yoink. Fair enough. I just want to yoink the bundle out of Lazarin's arms and just start shaking, like unwrapping things. It's just, what's it's just in it's it. an empty. It's just an empty. Oh, empty fabric. Like, yeah. yeah. Mr. DM. Hello. Oh, I hate children. <laughs> you said that the letter was like crumpled and aged. Uh, yeah. How old is it? Like, how does it look? Not, no, I didn't say aged per se, more of like just crumpled and rolled up and kind of like like damaged as in like just got kind of like... But like everything was dusty as shit, right? Like yeah. everything in this house. We've yet to find a room that wasn't dusty. Correct. That's the thing too. So okay. they, they were like, our parents are well, trapped here. Who's no, lived in this house wait, recently? Wait, 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 no, wait. let me finish. It was in a ghost, dude. So there were no footprints until we came in. There was no... Like how thick was the dust? Like, clearly not been disturbed. Yes. It's a uh, sixth sense situation. The kids are no, ghosts. No, no, the, the kids... No, the nothing kids are in dead. The, nothing in this house has been touched for a long time. Exactly, because the kids are dead. Everyone's dead. Well, either the kids haven't been in here and that's some bullshit, or... Oh. Kids are dead. Kids are ghosts, 100%. But the tangible... I don't check speak your language, Daigon! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They are tangible. <laughs> they are they are real kids. They're real kids, and it's I think they were alive, because the I. 
Alasha's, if they are turned up to be dead and ghosts, Alasha's going fucking crazy. <laughs> like, like he is, he is a lost it at that point. Like, I, he is I, gone just signed, I just signed a kiss. Undead are tangible things. Those children out well, there, Alasha not alive. Check if they were alive. I, I don't believe you. Idea. You checked poorly. You did it wrong. I don't. No, 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 no. Okay, hear me out. Alazrin. Hello. As the, the holy symbol thing, right? That you've done before. Yes. Could you not try that on the kids? Seems like a bit of a waste on two kids. Unless they're not two kids. And. Are we really going really to leave this house right now before we find this weird murder basement to then. No, but I mean, I mean, on the way out. However, it's not a waste because either you, you're wrong and it's we know that they're evil, or you're right and then it's not a waste because you proved that you were correct and you're better than everyone else. That doesn't sway for me right now. That, that nice try, Brooks. I see what you're doing. I see. See, usually I would respond to that quite well. You know what I would, but lot going on, and my ego low priority at the moment. I can take the I can take the the hit of the ego if I'm being wrong here. Because there's I a lot of crazy shit going red on. Wine. I bet you huh? can't the right wine that they're not breathing individuals. Fine, go to the fucking kids. about the fucking kids. Ghost just appeared. Note's a bit fucking weird, isn't it? <laughs> yes. It was Count yeah. One Strad, whatever the fuck his name was. This fucking man is. Yeah. You got a name no. Now. None of us recognize the name at all. Other Strad than... von Zerovich. Listen, no one knows where we are. No one knows who that guy is. No one knows who what fucking Gustav and Elizabeth are. Why? Well, by the sounds of it. By the sounds of it. Well, either, well, either they're well, living in the basement or they're not currently amongst. The There's no living. chance that you know we put those kids in the shed. The basement wouldn't, engines wouldn't be in the shed, would it? Like a storm shelter. Nah. <laughs> no, I think the basement entrance will either be on the rear of the building or it'd be hidden somewhere. I think I we should. I'm having doubts now. Have we seen any laundry chutes anywhere, Dutch? Sorry. You said like it was an old like Victorian style house. Yes. Have we seen any laundry chutes anywhere? You know, like the. The like doors or dumb that you open and throw your. You've seen dumb waiters. Laundry. You've seen dumb waiters. You've seen dumb waiters? Uh, but Let's no. go find the nearest I mean, dumb waiter. Is the dumb waiter big enough? For, like, is it a big enough uh, diameter for someone to fit down? It's hard. It's very, it's hard a very small waiter. or skinny someone. Yeah, sure, but people. I are... I tap Kess and I sign the Kess. We could send you down in your vessel. I could go down in my vessel. Oh, that's no, a great no, idea. No, 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 this is no, 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 no. really horrible down no, no. there, and then you're down there on your own. Only you can go. Uh, before, really before we, um, just for the sake of my fucking bearings, right? You're still in the nursery. Is there anything you yes. more you want to in inspect or, or do? I mean, before? is there anything that looks like maybe it could lead to a basement smiley face? Make an investigation check. Also, I killed the ghost. Is my HP still fucked? Yes. Fuck. An investigation check? Yes. 10. 10? 10, 10, 10. Um. It's got that basement. <laughs> Across the bed, there is this very large mirror. And with this check, as you have, you have the, the, the daylight thingy still. Yep. Okay. How do I fucking do this? Um, as you kind of like walk around the room with the daylight thingy, uh, and the light like shines very brightly onto the mirror, something looks off. I poke the mirror. Feels like a mirror. Can I move it? Does it look like it's move? Uh, like, is it? It looks. Like, does it look? It's attached to the wall. Or does it look like it's on like a? It's like on a wooden frame, but it's like into the inside the wall. But if you if you try go to like push it or yeah. touch it, yeah, yeah, you notice that. It swings open. God damn it, we didn't uh, know. And there's a staircase that doesn't go down. It goes further up. Why is it always going up? I don't know. Why is it? I just go... I find a staircase that goes... Up. Son of a bitch. How many 
I, I, does this house have? It didn't well, look this big from the outside, did it? it no, it, yeah, no, no, it looked like a proper like three to four story house. Absolutely, you're on the third floor now. Huge. Uh, I, I signed a kiss. Maybe the kids, ghosts, are just stupid, and by basement they mean attic. You know, upstairs basement. <laughs> Up the upstairs basement. That seems like a stretch. Yeah, I'm, well... I'm glad I mentioned Globe, that. fucking hell. Up you go, Lazarin. Globe, Take the fucking I'm sum of you. Globe, Globe go in. Did Lazarin read the letter out to everyone? Yeah, I assume we all read it. We all got a gist. Yeah, yeah I read it out loud. <laughs> oh, okay, because the letter mentions a basement. Oh, true. Well, so you're going up? Oh, there's, yeah. Globe going up before me. Alright. Uh, you get to, uh, like, an attic hall. Pretty large hallway, uh, a bunch of doors around you leading to several rooms, but one door has a very large padlock on it. Oh. Yes! <laughs> yes! Kiss <laughs> Club! Things locked yes. and we need to unlock it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going upstairs. Yeah. Look at that big okay. bastard lock over there. Doesn't that look just right for picking for someone of your skill set? Couldn't we just punch through it? Absolutely. Why do that when we can at least, you know, talking about egos, let's give Kess a bit of more of an ego boost, because she doesn't, the last person in this group that needs an ego boost is Kess. If we do it again, it's funny, because maybe her head will explode. Oh, uh, no. <clears throat> they were three seconds later. She, she somehow managed to shrug off being twatted in the face by a broom. Yeah, how did that broom get animated, is what I want to know. Magic. I would assume magic of some kind. Yeah, but... Quite and, and I don't know, fucking ghosts and poltergeists and shite. I mean, I can't imagine the anime's brooms. Thing, they're quite commonplace if you're rich. Something. No, they usually need to clean, but they have like defense on them because things are going to be attacked by a broom. You guys have weird customs. Welcome to nobility. Yeah, I mean, you know. right, are you trying uh, to pick the lock? Uh, nobility. 21. 21, yeah. You pick the lock. Uh, do, you, do you open the door? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you enter the room, and this room contains a bricked-up window flanked by two dusty wood-framed beds sized for children. Close to the door is a toy chest with windmills painted on its sides and a dollhouse that's a perfect replica of the uh, oh, no. dreary edifice in which you stand. The furnishings are draped in cobwebs. Lying in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons wearing tattered but familiar-looking clothing. The smaller of the two, the smaller of the two are is cradling a stuffed doll that you also recognize. Okay, told you the kids are dead. Ha ha! A Lazarus, suck it. You, so you're putting us in the fucking cell. Um, can I? Can I have a? Can I just have a intelligence check, a Lazarus, or or wisdom? Say wisdom, 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 wisdom. Check. Check. Yeah. Is he wise enough to not? Try and touch one of the dead children. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. All you really pick up from this is that um, the conclusion that you draw in your head is that okay, so the children were dead, so some of the, that stuff doesn't really make sense to you. But like that, we'll save that for a rainy day. But what you do kind of realize is that the window is bricked shut from the outside. There's bricks covering the window. Bricked up. The door Solution. padlocked. Someone locked these kids in here, and they probably starved to death. The that kids is... are evil and dead. The kids aren't evil, Laura. <laughs> the parents are fucked. <laughs> you, you... <sighs> they get locked in a fucking room and are star <laughs> like literally starved to death. How are you still running this kids are evil narrative? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll... What else? Uh, well, aside from your parents are just creepy twisted. Oh, well, okay, okay. free death. <laughs> they weren't evil. Okay. But the ghosts out there are fucking evil. All right. Counterpoint. <laughs> the, the Say body... it in character. Mm, okay. Smile. No, the. I, I kind of look at Kess, mm -hmm. and I do this, I'm just like, fuck, I was so hoping they were not dead. Shit. And I just t say. assigned to Kess, told him, so. So, how how sure are you that they, they, they were solid? I am, okay, so here's the thing, 100%, that's fucking with my brain quite a lot. I'm not going to lie, I am, um... You know how earlier I kind of had that, I had the small sort of, you could call it a breakdown, sure. We'll call it that for now. 
this shit? <laughs> I'll save it for another day. I don't think I can really cope with this mentally this is the right sort now. Of shit that you compartmentalize for. This is the sort of stuff day. where I think when I'm on my deathbed, I'll go. This As is kind you're of having me. this discussion. You just hear this, no. this, this this tiny voice. Oh. I didn't want to lie to you. And the ghosts of the two kids like appear beside their skeletons. Kind of it's cool. just, yeah, it's just, it we didn't think you'd believe us if we told you, and we really yeah, needed you to okay. enter the How house. were you tangible, though? How were you... No, no, that's How... not fucking important. Yes, it is to me, Brooks! No, 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 it's no. To me. This Why house... did you need us to enter the house? To go to the basement. Why? Where's the basement entrance? She'll Why? move over to the dollhouse, and the dollhouse is an exact replica of the house that you're in. Oh, that's there, weird. and she'll point to a small room on this floor of the attic. The secret door, and there's this very long staircase that goes all the way down to the basement. Um, I know, we know that we're dead. The house, the house is cursed. That's how we exist, and we we need somebody to. Go down to the basement and break the curse so that we can finally rest. Hold on, Hello. sign the curse. Is my bird all right? Oh, oh no. I wish I had. Huh? I left, so I left him. Oh, is my, I said, is my bird all right? I, saw, I left him on the front lawn. I don't know if you saw him when you came back in. Should still be there. Hold on, so before we go further, I signed a curse. Something doesn't add up. They were trapped in here, they starved to death, yet the entrance to the basement is also in here. And in theory, in theory accessible to us at this moment. On not this, ripped off. On this floor. Locked. On this floor. On the same floor, not in this room. Oh, I thought it was in this room. Okay. Yeah. Scratch that. I say nothing. Look, why do we need to go to the basement? Because there's a monster down there to lift the curse. There is a monster down You're there. You're dead already. What's the point of lifting the curse? What's Sign the monster? Oh, yo, whoa, 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 all right. Shush, shush, shush. Shush, shush, shush. What sort of monster? Don't know. Tell we us. just heard the, 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 the screams and the howls from here. Mum and Dad locked us in and never came back for us. I kind of like turns the group. Like, I think they may probably summon something they mean to. Yeah. Or worse. Transformed. They received lots of guests, but the guests never came back out. I think with the letter we read earlier, we know a lot of the guests... A lot of the guests that the parents had stayed in the basement for safety. So they're still alive? I don't want to tell these fucking ghost kids that their parents will, you know... Their parents ghost... starved them to death. I think they know their parents were pretty shit. I they signed a guest. The... No, no, no. Does guest relay that? No. Guess is like... <laughs> they, they just said that they... Their parents didn't... Not their parents left them. Their parents didn't come back yet. Maybe their parents... They think their parents them. were trying to keep them safe. I don't want to break that from. Did they parents say why they kept you in here? No, they just they just told did us they... to hide. Like, did they seem scared or did they seem angry? Angry. See, not scared, not protected. We did just you see that face we like hardened. I'm sorry we lied to you, but. We just want to be able to rest. It's been so long. We need someone. How You're the first long? people to have entered this village in very long, and we just want... We need you to allow us our rest, finally. It's okay. It, it's gonna be okay. Is there anything else that we need to know that you haven't told us? Hold on. You lied. But what about the baby? What about the baby? You lied what about the... the baby? Why did I lie about yeah, they... the baby? 
Did you not find water? You come to Is he okay? Similar fate to yours, I'm afraid. Signing to Kess, only Kess knows this, doesn't add up. Baby was stillborn. That means baby was never living. Baby was born dead. They can pretend baby is alive and not that's, tell the kids uh, and I have it wrapped back, up. Back. <laughs> they probably pretended it was still alive. And the kids, the 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 the, the, How the girl. Do they think their kids are? Rose will just kind of like. It's a seven year old and a ten year old man. <laughs> yeah. Pretty gullible. <laughs> 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 okay, so there's seven and ten year olds who know like shit to their parents going on, know when parents are like fighting yeah, to get divorced. They're also you can pick up on a dead baby. There are also seven ten year olds who don't have a fucking clue what's going on in the world. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> and are dumb as bricks. Um, you just see like as you mentioned that similar fate to theirs, the the the, the like Rose's facial expression just kind of droops down. Oh, well, hopefully he can rest. Much like I would like to rest. Can you? We'll make sure you rest. Something isn't right, man. Of course, sure something's you not rest. right. Why have they got a fucking painting with the baby? None of these questions are going to get answered, so we might as well. I'm not asking the kids. I'm just putting it out there. No, like... I don't. I mean, I mean in general, right? None of we're not going to find these people. We're not going to get the answers to these questions that we want. We just have to accept that there's some fucking weird shit here. We go to the basement. They, uh, we do what needs to be done. Psychotic kill. I kind of I'm... like move away from the kids. <laughs> so I'm gonna start writing in my journal, so, and then make sure to gesture for the group to like quick huddle so the kids don't see what I'm writing, and say, "All right, I get it. This, you know, this story sounds very tragic. Even giving these kids the benefit of the doubt, and they are victims of a terrible situation, and they want us to help. Why does this straw?" person who has had nothing but seems ill intent teleport us against our will to this place to what do a good deed and help some kids even if all this is at face value what it seems that's a very weirdly benevolent good act and we saw that letter too written okay. from him he's not a good person but why are we here this just stems into the same thing we had outside which is we either do nothing and wait to see what happens or we just do the fucking thing whether it's a trap or not and then fucking deal with that after because fuck knows Th those are our choices we either go to the basement or we sit here and wait people can change especially when children are involved who knows maybe the strad fellow has a or of... or you're letting yourself be used as a pawn in some greater plan like maybe we oh, what's maybe, we're what's all the curse. maybe we're freeing some entity maybe who knows what well, we're actually gonna luckily, do what we're most of my life choice. most of my life has been it's someone else behind the scenes controlling what I do. So this is nothing new for me. What other choice do we have right now? Other Not play than... along. It's called agency and free will. Okay, how long do we wait? Wait, wait, wait. Is Dagon writing this? Like, what, yes, what do yes. We... I'm, writing, okay. I'm writing this in response each time. Yeah. We, we are trapped in this the house. The fog is outside. We can't go anywhere unless we want to see what happens when we touch the fog, which, quite frankly, I don't. Our only course of action right now is to go through with whatever taking care of ha with what happened in the basement. What I don't think I, I don't even want to contemplate Strad's greater intent here because clearly the people in this house are fucking bad people as it is, and I've got no qualms cleaning up whatever happened so that some kids' spirits can go free. But what I'd really love to know. Is why there's a painting where they're holding a fucking baby that has a name, but it was never alive. Are you because oh. crazy psychopathic people, of which probably are more grandiose than themselves and think they're way more have read the letter, think they're way more important in this game of life and death than they actually were. Think we'll have another painting with our whole family in it because we've got this new child. Or they're keeping up appearances for something. I understand. They didn't want the child to know him to be dead. I understand, Davian, that it's fucking weird. But even if you get an answer to that question, it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to change what we have to do. I just, what I, what I really you don't want is the answer crazy. to that question to be, oh, the. They fucking kept the 
reanimated the baby somehow, and that's what we're going to be greeted by when we get down to the base. We won't know until we get down there anyway, so... Well, I just really like to dispel that before we get... That's what I'm trying to figure out. Pe people deal with grief in different ways. Maybe that was their way of... These people the baby's going okay, how about this? Either. How about kids... this? Oh, there was a spirit. A waiting fine, spirit. I get the of a, whole... Of a, of a servant woman, though. Okay, hold on. I get the whole, well, Another okay, well, we're maybe? trapped. So doing nothing is not an option. Well, at least you you think it is. I different story. But so say I agree to that. All I'm saying is we go to this basement, but just keep in mind it doesn't make sense. We'd be brought here to do a good deed by this clearly we sketchy person. So when we go to the basement, just keep in mind, find a way if you want to help these kids. Maybe try and do it by our rules and try and think about what could be the greater consequences of whatever we're about to do. Because I feel like there's something we are obviously missing and won't know until it's too late. I just want to put it out there. So there's no great. told you, and I'm going to have a told you so moment when it does happen. I'm just putting oh, it in here. Maybe fuck your told you so moment. We have no advice. other option. We sit here and eat until we run out of rations and then starve no. to death, or we go and do the fucking thing. Because I clearly frankly, you can fucking magically zoopity zoop us to wherever listen, the fuck we're all Listen, we're all in agreement that we're going down there to deal with it. I'm I just going want to. I, to I, want Diagon, I want Diagon to be in agreement that clearly there's no better option. Here's, here's my point. The letter clearly said that whatever the fuck they were doing in that basement had nothing to do with Strahd being here. So going down and fucking around with it has nothing to do with Strahd's being here or helping him or anything. It's just clearing up whatever mess they left behind. And maybe that benefits him somehow, but I don't think there's a greater challenge or, or task here that we're helping him solve. I think he's testing us. Well, then I'm even more concerned. Either that or he's trying to get us to pay him back for, you know, stealing shit. And to clear up maybe... As you said, this Strahd might be a humus, you know, a huge piece of shit and grandiose and that. Maybe he has a shred of guilt over these children. Oh, Maybe absolutely not. Don't absolutely know. Absolutely not. All the, okay, so. He was the one who brought us here. You should be more concerned then about what did bring us here, because that's even worse to me. Okay. Yeah, if it's not so, him. It's, that's, so we are assuming Strahd's brought us here. If you see at any point between now and us finishing in the basement a different path, and we have the time to talk about it. You are more than welcome to voice it. But as for now, I see our only options is staying here until we run out of food. Or going and just doing whatever the fuck it is. And seeing what happens. Why are those the only two? Are you stupid? Like, wait, wait because we choose to wait. It has to be wait forever and definitely. It can't be wait, what, say, what, six what, hours what for sun to rise and then decide. Like, okay. why is it one the or the other? The sun is going to rise. You what? don't know it won't. Why? We like, don't we even know it will. We don't even know if we're on the same fucking plane anymore. We don't know. <laughs> if you want to wait, then fuck it. We'll take a rest. But I don't see what it accomplishes. I don't even want to at this point. I just find it rather ignorant and mildly offensive that we immediately assume that's the dumb thing to do when all it could do is give us more information than what we have now. Even or, if nothing happens, it would tell us something, and then we could still go about with have, doing whatever else we're gonna do. We have other I things to do. We are on yeah, the furious, furious scribbling. Furious scribbling. As we were leaning over a shoulder talking. And the kids so there's, there's and, like, and the two, like, the two like, kids are just, are just standing there like... Yep. And the best is because in between these moments, it's like awkward silence. All you hear is like the scritching of my pen and then angered responses. You're reading out as you're I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking... <laughs> Take like put my hands on Diagon's shoulders and just look her in the face and say We go to the basement, we lift the curse, on a very small scale we're doing the right thing. And it gets us out of here faster. I mean let's face it. Again, I've again I've agreed. I've agreed we're doing it, but you say it gets us out. How do we know? We 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 literally have nothing to imply that lifting this curse will immediately teleport us out there, then wait around saying, have nothing... fuck you, we're not playing- Hold on, I have to finish writing it. Then saying, <laughs> fuck you, we're not playing your game, would. Like, the, th the thing that's I don't understand, and is making me kind of pissed off here, is you're acting like my- Like, the thing I e didn't even say would be a better idea, but just propose as an option, is obviously dumb and stupid, but we have just as little information to say that doing what we're being told to by these forces who already lied to us once, is automatically going to solve all our problems and we'll immediately be like, job done, go home. We have it's two said options. It's not, that you, it's not that your idea is, is stupid. It's not stupid. It's it's a valuable, it, it's, it's a good idea, at, at the very least. It's that 
the information we could gather from it is not exactly it's the daughter the the, the the girl um i don't mean to interrupt but if you have any questions or something I've, I've, maybe we maybe i can fill in some do blank. you know strad who doesn't? He's the ruler and lord of, of <laughs> Rovia and, and, and lives in his castle uh, up Thank the you, hill. Gosh, just stand. Mm. And even going, I, this part is just signed to Kess. Going back to whoever put out there that maybe this is a test and Shroud's gonna harm us. Again, when have we. What, why does anyone think then we should have any desire to pass his test and play by his rules? This is bullshit. Maybe he just wants us to pay him back for stealing his shit. You know? Wasn't his! He it was, was a thing made to fight him! It was an anti his shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he could be very possessive of his necklaces. I don't know. <laughs> All I'm saying yes, is inaction is not something that means it. it the choice of inaction is not the lack of making a choice. Well, it is no. still a choice, and it is this still is to, this is something. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is just a Kess. This isn't to you. I'm just because at this point I've given up on what y'all think of me. But like Kess's opinion, I value the most. So it's again the whole it, inaction or waiting. For, it's not be. It's not an, a choice of cowardice. It's not a choice because I'm of laziness. It's a valid choice. It's where the expression patience is a virtue comes from. Inaction is as valid a choice as action in the right context. And yeah, I just absolutely. saying, I would have liked it to be considered that this could have been one of those moments of context, but apparently it's not. I will, looking at the Ryans, I'll say, I mean, this sort of haste um, that we're going is mainly because I did the daylight thing and that can only last so much. And if there are, you know, about kind of, <laughs> kind of helpful to have around. So if we can get through it, you know, sort of rapid, totally we can kind of, you know, use it. Because if it runs out and then like, oh, we need this daylight now and there's the vampires, kind of got to wait till sunrise. And we don't know if the sun's going to rise here, you know. So last time that was kind of my haste. Last time the sun rose and wasn't covered by the black clouds was I've, I've read, I've, I've learned about. Was, was... Oh, you had to read about it. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I didn't read, but I got my parents told me. Yes. A long time so ago. Bef bef cool, cool. So no sunrise, no. Well, there's no a sun. Day. It is just the black clouds cover it up. <laughs> it's just. I... So you get a little what? bit of light, but not much. Cool, but it's like forever twilight here, which is kind of cool. Kind of. Like... Oh, you, that's actually your vibe. No, that's kind of <laughs> really kind of is my vibe. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> oh, if, if, only we one, if only we're one level higher, I could be flying. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can fly in twilight. <laughs> That's amazing. My idea of waiting would have been great for you. And I can, I can fly in dim light. Wait you magic level up, guys. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we just get a magic level up like right now? Uh, no. <laughs> just weirdly, I level up just me. Just you. Right. Just but whilst I'm here. Just so you can fly, and then like yeah. for thirty seconds, and then your level yeah. up goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Just to be like, see, look, it's I can temporary. do this later on. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> God. Since we know we're probably not likely to see, see the sun anytime soon, other than the one that allows him to sling it around. <laughs> can we just can we just get this over with? Go. Yeah. Okay. So the kids, as you leave the room, kind of just like before you go. When you. Defeat the monster in the basement. Would you come check on us? Make sure that. Well, we'll be here, pointing at the skeletons, but making sure that we're no longer here? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And like she like clutches her brother. <clears throat> and uh, uh before yeah we go, on the beds are there like uh quilts or anything yes i want to take one and cover the skeletons with it okay. and then 
yeah, you basically um, following the directions that, like, if you had to go off of like the dollhouse that where the kid was like, that's where the secret is. Uh, it takes you into a, a different room first, which is -ba -ba room number eighteen. Where are you at? Yes. Into a, a storage room, <clears throat> a dusty chamber packed with old furniture, like chairs and coat racks and standing mirrors, dress mannequins, and all that sort of thing, or all those sort of things, all draped in dusty white sheets. Um, oh, there's a, uh, a wooden trunk that you can see uh that has a padlock on it but it seems to be open like the padlock is hanging from it still but like open Intriguing. unlocked um that's what you see uh, at first glance i'm just gonna open it you gonna open it yeah inside of it uh you find uh skeletal remains wearing uh made outfits uh which looks eerily familiar, eerily similar to the specter that you found oh. that you found in the nursery. Uh, just a quick gloss over reveals that uh, this woman was stabbed to death by multiple knife wounds. So that's what you find in the trunk. <laughs> How long has it roughly been since we since I cast daylight? I'd say you've been going through the house. You've, you've not explored overly much. Spent some time We've discussing a lot. lot, so I'd say like 45 minutes ago. You've been in the house for 45 minutes. Okay, got 15 minutes left. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. But you also, uh, you walk up to the door, or the, the wall of which the, the, the dollhouse specified that that's where the secret entrance was. Um, and... Hold on. Doom. This is a... Uh, Ah, this is a funny one. Basically... Not funny, ha ha. <laughs> no, funny, funny, weird. Funny, weird. weird. Yes. Um... Okay. Yeah. So, basically, as you walk into the room and you walk up to the, um, the wall, you hear a creak. The entire house starts to creak. Oh, good. And the secret door just kind of appears magically in front of you. Which then reveals a uh, spiral staircase that goes down. There we go. Down, there it is. Very we far go down. Go down it next time on Dungeon Select. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well, you don't want a, a six, five, six hour session? What? No. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to the basement uh, next episode. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, Dagger really just wants to sit and meditate in a freaking haunted house, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I get it. I get it. I definitely get it. But, like, oh, I get so, it. So, so what it seems like sitting and wait meetings, like, sit there on the floor while doing nothing and no way to look for any other signs of information <laughs> or things that just don't involve doing what the baddie wants, but doing what we want. Basically, what triggered this situation. was the fact that you ditched the invitation. Ditching the invitation was like, <laughs> that, that's that's what triggered this. This is basically, uh, you're basically they said that when we got here, right? They were like, you're basically but, playing like, uh, the yeah. like intro. No coincidence. Intro. Yeah. This is basically like a rewritten to more fit what I wanted to do with yeah. this, but a yeah. rewritten version of the first session. If you were to play the Curse of Strahd campaign, what is what this yeah, would be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, but just like rewritten and uh, some some adjustments hey, made. What are you doing? Oh, I hate it. I hate that we. I hate we have dark fantasy Strahd themes. I hate it. I hate it because I know what it leads to. I hate this, but so, I love it. I mean, they've th this Strahd thing. Like they've been carrying like. Fucking Bell and Laura have been carrying that with that secret with them since their session zero. They knew. And like, it's been oh. mentioned that or hinted Kirsten, once or twice Kirsten in the Kirsten occasional Dagen session. Kirsten hiding yeah. secrets from the group. Who would have thought? And, uh, oh, and those are the ones who said with, Yo, with no me secrets. basically saying like, yeah, Strahd exists yeah. in campaign one. I was like, yeah, they, I mean, I'm gonna pull them out at some point. You know what I mean? There's a demon monster child in the basement, isn't there? Just like in the. Uh, we'll see. We'll find out. Oh, you know what it's gonna be? Hour. It's gonna be the weird baby thing from Resident Evil Village in that one part of oh the game. God. Just like in the. It's, so, uh, it's gonna we'll be see. spectral mommy and daddy. But yeah, like basically, <laughs> what triggered this was the fact that you ditched the invitation. I was like, okay, 
Ah. Uh. Uh, do you know what? I've come to expect it from Cass, not from Dagon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah we'll pick Dagon's this up. The secret Can I, for the sake of, um, for the sake of this, Laura, are you available on Thursday? Discourse. Yeah. Let me check. Let me check. And Bell. Because this does mean yeah. that we can talk about this, but also a little more about Session Zero and talk about all the Strahd type stuff and just kind of yeah. explore that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So yeah, Thursday, on Thursday, you too. That'd be cool. Awesome. Uh, I should be. Perfect. Awesome. So that will be discourse on Thursday. We'll have uh, Divinity tomorrow with uh, you know the boys minus Craig, but you know the majority of the boys will be playing Divinity. No, I've the men. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. This was a chaotic mess, but it was fun. Thanks for the follows, by the way, guys. We got uh, Luna Lay, Shut Up Dummy, and Fraley. Thanks for the follows. Appreciate you. Uh, more DS next Sunday. Divinity tomorrow. Discourse on Thursday. Catch y'all later, gamers. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, bye. Sorry for the audio this session. It'll be nice. <laughs> Bell. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And now slowly, like, fade out. Just like... <laughs>